There we go. All right, I guess we'll get going here. I'm pretty well set. Hello, Jewels. <laughs> I'm I'm being a PNG tuber today. Hello, hello. I'm a teeny bit early. Oh, oldie but goodie. <laughs> That's a good name. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> yeah, this is this my PNG tuber today is a visual representation of how I feel. <laughs> I'm very fatigued. <laughs> Also, I don't know if I gotta like adjust the little on-screen chat. I guess maybe I'll move it down above my little my little bear head. Yes, do you like my my PNG tuber today? No, I guess that'll kind of work. I also have this wonderful um, view of Mr. Vincent looking just oh so happy as he's returned home from the. Uh, I believe we were at a community lot of sorts. Hello there, Dar Zims, and hello everybody who's just coming in. Hello, Christy. Hello, Sims Gamer. Yeah, just kind of letting everybody come in here. I'm a tiny bit early, technically, but let me know if the sound is okay. Obviously, we haven't really started getting going here yet, but I'm constantly tweaking with my microphone settings a little bit. But hi there, Serendipity. I've had an okay day. I'm very fatigued today, and that's kind of why I feel like hiding behind my little PNG tuber. <laughs> and not dealing with the lights in the camera. But I hope you have had a good day. Hope everybody else has too. Yeah. I'm intrigued. I don't know how long Vincent's story is exactly. I'm not really sure. Um, so I don't know if we're gonna like finish it today. I doubt it. Cause I mean Riley's took surprisingly long. Although I think the first two times I played it, I only played it for two hours at a time. Yeah, Vincent doesn't look happy. I'm guessing he... I was trying to kind of recall where we left him. Because um, I recall that we were at a community lot bowling with his friends. I think I'm just going to hit play and let him do his thing here. I'm going to turn off the little Sims music I had playing there. Hear the game sounds. There we go. Oh, he's talking about something. I guess he's going to go to bed. He's going to go to sleep. Uh, he's very hungry. This man has a problem with feeding himself, if I recall. I think he only knows how to make TV dinners. Oh, okay. Okay, that was okay. What's, what is this? Receive package? I'm sorry? Hello? There's a there's a man here. Looks like the Ames Hall pool table I ordered on Sim Bay has finally arrived. Oh my goodness. Oh, hello there, oldie but goodie. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, it's 1 a.m. there. I know it's it's so hard to try to deal with the the uh, time zones. I tried to make it a little bit earlier at 6 p.m. today. Technically, I'm a little before 6 p.m. Hoping it'll kind of work out. Hopefully we don't have too much uh, noise pollution because it's a little bit earlier than I normally would. Usually the reason I... Oh, we have a we have a sandwich here. Where did the sandwich magically appear from? How long has this been sitting here, Vincent? Uh, but yeah, so we'll see how we'll see how 6 p.m. works. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be okay. Yeah, why don't you just let yourself in? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't know. I'm trying to remember what it was that we did with Vincent. He he. I remember him talking to a bunch of ladies, and they gave him a bunch of goofy like one-liners to turn him down, turn like him down. I like my move this chat over a little. <laughs> yeah, you like my bonfire pile jewels? <laughs> I love the little bear just dangling there. I imagine I'm actually the bear. Or maybe the bear chair sitting in the center. The panda bear chair. Are you... Yeah, you're tired. Well, you had... Look, that... My gosh, that sandwich didn't do much for him. All right. Okay, so am I supposed to, like, put out the table? It doesn't, like, tell me to. But this is the table. Seems like they've kind of lift this open right here. Look at that magically happens to perfectly fit right there. That is a fancy table. All, oops, all of these objects I see in this game, I just want to make sure I have conversions of for the regular game, <laughs> which I still haven't gone to look. But that's pretty nice. I like this table. Does it have actual recolors out of curiosity? No. All right, it's a special. We didn't steal it. This guy just came in and handed it to us. Apparently he bought it on Sim Bay. Which is questionable, considering um, Vincent is a mi multi-millionaire. 
So why is he not just like buying it direct from some fancy showroom <laughs> instead of on like the Sims version of eBay? Hmm. You know, very, very conveniently planned empty space in the middle. So yeah, and, oh, and that's right. The Vincent's, his girly friend, Ms. Samantha Hayden, she wanted to marry him. And he, they'd only been dating for like three weeks, but he was gone for two weeks of it. And they had a, uh, I think it was over here somewhere. She had a, a wedding arch and everything. So I just, I don't really know where his story is going. Like, I don't really know where we're going next. I can't really remember. There was some guy that his ex was with that we saw at the community lot. I remember that. Because it's like, almost like with Riley's, it was like you had a feeling, okay, the aunt's like mysteriously gone. Something's going to happen with that. But like this one, I'm like, I don't really know where we're headed. I don't know what we're doing and how we're going to get there. Uh, I never actually played Life Stories because I heard it's kind of boring. Yeah, it's been interesting. Riley's, so far, the only thing I can really say about it is that um, it's like none of the characters are likable. That's the number one thing. I can't say it's necessarily boring. What sounds? Why are you making sounds? Okay. This multimillionaire is incapable of taking care of himself, apparently. Oh, you're cooking something. Okay. Did you make... Oh, you made Pop-Tarts. Of course you did. Yeah, take a shower before you eat your Pop-Tarts next to your unpainted wall, which we're not allowed to paint because we're not allowed to go into build mode. Look at this. Look at this. We figured that out last time. There's a couple of unpainted walls, and they're just going to make us look at them. I can't I can't even do anything about it. It's just it's just a blacked out button. Also, does he actually have a job he goes to? Yeah, only four days a week though. Interesting. I also love how he's also very rich, but he has these like cheap college showers in here. <laughs> That's fun. A fun little detail. Let's see. Uh what were you doing? Oh yeah, you were eating the I wonder what's going to happen. Our goal currently is just the please wait. What is the... That Naomi sure was amazing. Oh, that's right. We met the the, the chick at the... Um, at the, the espresso machine. Naomi. That's the other thing that happened at the community lot last time. Um, and we got her number. In a really cringy way. He had like a cringy one-liner. I should wait a day, but I definitely want to call her soon. Okay, so I bet, I'm guessing the next thing is calling Naomi. Hello, Cry Wild. Yeah, that's how he got rich by being cheap, apparently. And also some kind of technology thing. Technology and being a cheapskate. Apparently. Yeah, the team behind the game just wanted to drive people crazy. They just... It was like, I don't know... Do you think they put, like, people who were actually good at writing stories in charge? Because it kind of feels like they didn't. <laughs> like, it kind of feels like they just were like, Hey, you guys came up with some of the pre-mades. How about you come up with a whole storyline for us? Maybe that'll work. And then we've got all these, like, uh, annoying, unlikable characters that I just cannot have any sympathy for because they just are annoying and weird. <laughs> like, I don't really know. I don't know if they were trying to make it simple enough to keep children's interest and then also hope that the adults don't mind how stupid it is. Like, I don't know if that's the deal. Oh, yeah, I forgot about our dirt carpet. This is great. This is a great carpet. With these walls and this... this oh, my gosh, there's stuff in the way. With these, this is great. Got a great little look going here. And yeah, many rich people have no taste. They don't know what to do with all their money. They just they just really like the money. Their their only taste is money. You okay. God, look at his hunger. It's just not going up. Is this man okay? Everything he eats, I haven't even gotten it halfway yet. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and empty it out. Here you go. You're gonna be even more hungry after that. Yeah, he has fantastic decorating sense. He has this horrible fake fake stone wood situation that I, I hate. And then we've got we've got like tiki like wicker <laughs> and uh, this this masterpiece with these empty wall half walls. We've got and somebody pointed this out last time. We've got a black stove, a white microwave, and a silver uh, what you might call it. What's this? That's a fridge. There's a fr it's a silver fridge. <laughs> It's like, okay. And then we've got like a sort of dull silver uh, trash compactor and a sh another shiny silver thing here. 
like quite the quite it's like why not just what is going on here to me this is a bathroom sink like it doesn't have the right sink set up for a kitchen sink I, I enjoy critiquing Max's builds like this is a whole this entire room is a whole choice this carpet looks like tile carpet like it looks like they put a tile texture over a carpet texture in Photoshop and called it good. I think it exists over here as well, which is interesting to coordinate this one with the with the bedroom. Like that's a really fun choice. We've got like a little flag. This looks like this looks like something Chinese or something. And we've got a picture of some uh, city. <laughs> like we've got a lot going on in this little house. And it is only one floor, right? I don't know if I've looked at it from. Oh my god. I have not looked at it this this far away. It's, I can't even. It, the, oh, there we go. Wow. <laughs> Somebody had a lot of fun with the roof tool. That is that is a lot. Hello, Grunt. This rip Grunt. <laughs> uh, no, we didn't really do any. Well, actually, the only thing that happened as far as storyline goes is a random delivery man delivered us a pool table that apparently he ordered online. Which we have actually he's playing with it right now we have that going on that's about it yeah i know that that house is quite a lot going on oh he could be a horrible landlord <laughs> who would uh buy cool victorian houses and call them ugly and generic yes exactly and like ruin them and turn them into modern all the like obnoxious like gray and white modern houses <laughs> Yeah, I could just, oh my gosh, a whole stream where I just go from, like, load up a, a blank version of, like, Pleasant View and just go place to place and just, uh, just roast every one. single building. <laughs> we could rank the worst building. <laughs> you can have, like, a tier list. That'd be funny. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't know how long I'm going to go today, depending on how the story goes. I would think, I'm thinking three hours. But I'm not sure, especially since I started earlier, I definitely would have the energy to go longer. But I just have no sense of how long his story is going to last. For some, something about this pool table reminds me of like a car or something. Like this looks like a, a car guy made a pool table. Yeah, that could be interesting. I could think about how that would actually, how, the, how I could make that work out exactly. That would be funny. Also, the salsa music in the background. I really appreciate, I really appreciate the vibe of this house. Oh yeah, he's still Angie, he an Angie boy. Can I turn the music up? I don't want it to be too, too much, but I really like having that constant little background sound. I help a little bit. There you go. I like the, I like the little salsa moment. Yeah, they definitely have some fascinating lots and houses. The I think the, of all of the buildings, Veronaville's freaking community lots that I did like makeovers of are by far the most horrifying. <laughs> uh, I was playing Sims 3 yesterday. My Sims are going to have a baby. Oh gosh, a burglar broke in and stole their crib. The husband tried to call the police and the police were able to ca return the crib. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's quite a chaos. The Sims 3 is full of chaos. I'm not sure if I want to... I think I definitely want to keep playing um, The Sims 3 regularly on stream. I think that would be really fun because I definitely had a lot of fun the other night. It is a very chaotic game where there's like constantly everything going on at once. <laughs> which is fun, but can also be overwhelming if you're trying to like focus on something. Okie dokie, what am I going to do with you, sir? Once again, like we said, he's a fortune sim just like Riley was. Which means all of his wants are boring. They're about just buying stuff. Should I just, I mean, he can afford literally everything in the catalog right now. We just buy, let's see if, I think he's just going to keep getting buying wants, but buy him an exercise machine, a game, and a sculpture. This man's just going to be swimming in things. So let's see, I'm going to forget everything. Exercise machine. I'm going to try and just see what happens if I start granting him his wishes. 
I'll just get the most expensive one. Does he ha Oops, whoa, why did I zoom in? I tried to zoom out. Does he have any exercise equipment? Not really. I'm just gonna throw this one over here. I can do that. Um, it was a game. He could, oh my gosh, he could have his own. Can we fit his own bowling? I don't think we can, can we? Oh my gosh. Bowling next to the pool? <laughs> bowling next to the pool? This is what rich people do. I put that here. Okay, we're gonna squeeze that. Ooh, oh no, right there. And then, what was that, a sculpture? Five thousand. Well, let's let this roll and see if it... Yeah, he just wants to buy more crap and eat sandwiches. I'm just gonna buy him a sculpture. We're gonna say we, we did something for him. He, he, oh my gosh, look at how limited the sculpture selection in this game is. That's kind of wild. There we go. He's got a lady looking over the balls. <laughs> uh, and unpopular, maybe popular opinion. Single family Sims 3 play is, yeah, better than... Yeah, definitely. In The Sims 2 rotation really works. Whereas in The Sims 3, it just doesn't work. It's like, oh, thank you very much for the follow. Flamingo, LL Flamingo. Welcome in. Yeah, I definitely, with The Sims 3, I have the most fun with legacy play in The Sims 3. Be able to just hone in. Oh, look at that. Look at you taking care of your wants like a good little boy. Yeah, it's just money. Earn more money. Buddy, you got so much money. Is there a cap at how much they can earn? I don't even know. Because, I mean, I don't, I've never had a sim this rich before. I'm really not sure. Yeah, welcome in, Flamingo. Uh, I love your videos, videos and happy to catch a stream. Yes, I'm finally starting a little bit earlier. I feel like more people are stopping by today with a little bit earlier time. Yeah, the ca the casts are a pain in the butt. They seem like a good idea at first, and you kind of get like inspired to give it a try. Oh, who's calling? This lady? Who is this? Oh, I don't think I recognize her name as like a character. Um, but yeah, the Kate. I used to do the Kate the cast system. Um. I th quite a few different times, and it really only works if you have like a little town. I think the only time I got it to work was when I played on my own in the um, uh, the the that Sims Three Sims Three Pleasant View that uh, Pleasant Sims and somebody else made together. And because the how the town was so small compared to most Sims Three towns, it was doable. But yeah, I like just zoning in on one family. I found and just like. Doing a traditional legacy type thing. Oh yeah, the Sims 3. Sims 3 can be difficult. It can be difficult as far as like getting it running, I mean. It can be a pain. Sometimes it depends on... Some, sometimes the computers are, are funky about it and some computers run well. Oh, oh okay. We got a little pop-up here. I like this little like mini squished bubble moment we're having. Uh, Naomi gave me her number last night. I think I'll ask her out for a date at Cliffside Park. But I should get changed first. You're ch changing into what? Change clothes? That sound he Oh my god, the sounds this man is making right now. Um, change into something more stylish. So am I just changing his everyday? My planning outfit? Is that what's happening? You can stop talking to Brittany. Uh, let's see, I missed some. First, I couldn't do any romance options, and then I couldn't get... Oh, yeah, that's true. I used to have an issue with the cast getting, letting babies start aging. Sometimes they would screw up. Yeah. Um, so, what happened with him so far is he... So, when we started playing Vincent, his, we were he was returning home from, like, a business trip... And his girlfriend, or his fiance, or girlfriend, I don't remember if she was his girlfriend, or I think she was just girlfriend. It, she had been staying at his house, and her, his house was a wreck, it was a mess. And then uh, she came running out and was like, I bought us a wedding arch, do you want to get married now? And he's like, what do you mean? We've only been together for three weeks, and two of those weeks I've been away on a vacation, on a friggin' business thing. 
So that she, he ended up turning her down. She had a fit and left. And then he went out on the town with his bu boys, his, his boys is. And there's a couple of nerds that hung, hang out with him. They were bowling. And then he saw his ex there with some other guy. But then he also got the na number of this Naomi chick. And that's kind of the main stuff that's happened. Like he talked to some other girls and stuff. But yeah, okay, I'm missing some... Uh, hello, Meebles. Hello there. And hello, Braddy Full. Th welcome in. I'm glad you were able to stop on by for a little bit. Yeah, just change him into his PJs. I'm afraid it'll automatically change him into every day. That's why I'm like, is that what I'm supposed to actually adjust? Yeah, she wanted to be the missus, but he was like, no way, Jose. <laughs> yeah, she just, and it obviously it was money. I mean, he's he's a multimillionaire. Oh, it's too bad. <laughs> yeah, the, we have little, little no-me emotes. You can actually see him above, well, I was going to say above my head, but above my little silly PNG tuber that I'm hiding behind today. <laughs> uh, Sammy Stream really inspired me to play, oh, okay, play the Sim story. So Vincent ended up kissing Sherman Boogo all night long. <laughs> That's funny. I like Sherman. Sherman's the only character in this entire series that I am enjoying. And I, and I don't even know him. Like, I haven't even been able to talk to him oh yes i am a bonfire i'm actually the one little teddy bear hanging off the bonfire by my ear that's who i am <laughs> or maybe i'm just the entire bonfire yeah Sher sherman's the real love interests okay so what does this man actually own oh my gosh he's got quite a few little suits okay should we give him that should we give him the john burb chic also, does, 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 um, doesn't Daniel Pleasant wear something like this too, default? Oh, this is Daniel's. We give him the Daniel Pleasant. Or no, that's the John Burb. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> give him the John Burb. This is Vidkin. Give him a Vidkin moment. Should he be a little Vidkin? Isn't this AJ? AJ Loner? Why am I just, why are these all just like recognizable, uh, pre-made outfits? You could wear this awful suit. <laughs> Not just Cundy things. <laughs> oh my gosh. These these suits always give them like a weird body type. Like it looks goofy. Looks like he got like no butt. Which I mean he probably doesn't. I have no clue what, what the vibe is. Should he just show up in this? <laughs> his his other outfits are just as bad. Like does he really have much for pants? Not really. I think I'm going to give him one of these dumb leather jackets. Yeah, what would a millionaire who has no taste or sense of anything wear? He might wear, like, the richest, the most expensive suit he could buy because he thinks that money equals taste. Like, anything expensive must be good. He can buy a, th he can wear a little three-piece suit. I feel like this is more modern, chic businessman. $600 t-shirt, exactly, with holes in it. That some some poor kid had to cut a, cut holes in at a, at a factory. The Hank Hill special. Oh no, <laughs> that's true. Okay, I think I'm just gonna give him a stupid suit. I'm gonna give him a dumb suit just for this silly dumb man. Okay, apparently that was what we were supposed to do. Now we have to wait. Aren't I supposed to call? You're not gonna jump right in friggin' bed, are you, buddy? Okay. Why stop now? This outfit looks so good. I should change my appearance as well. Okay. <laughs> I guess we're... What are we going to do? Are we going to shave? Are we going to... What are we doing, buddy? I like this little makeup. Should we put some makeup on him? <laughs> we give him eyeliner and stuff. Look at these little gray steel eyes. Those are kind of nice. <laughs> Time for a buzz cut. Oh my gosh. We could wait. We could we could go full Vidkin. <laughs> we could just make him a little Vidkin knockoff. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Look at my hat. A full face of makeup. I wonder if they have the um the actual costume makeup things where it's like a full makeup face. I don't know if that's like a nightlife thing or not. Look at my hat. Looks like he's like an undercover cop. We got another hello there, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Hi there. Uh, oh, we need a. We could do a. We could do a. <laughs> a Viking moment. Do a Viking moment. I don't know. What is he? he we could give him a. 
he looks like he probably could rock that. <laughs> oh, we have, wait, that's weird. We have this one store hair. This is usually for, I think it's part of the, usually the part of the store, isn't it? That's weird that there's just like one store hair. We could have a Don Lothario hair. That's true. He actually looks good with that one. But we could still give him a face of makeup. Here, let's give him a little baby face. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Oh yeah, I also have defaults in, so. Let me see. I just wondered. Okay. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably this. <laughs> I don't know if I can seriously go through with him just being. <laughs> he, he's a. He heard the ladies really like the tigers. Oh my goodness, he's a mime. Not this. We get the we get the tank grunt. Oh my gosh. He can be. <laughs> How about we? Let me look at the. Let's see. There we go. We got a little bit of makeup on. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Alpha male. <laughs> Rawr. <laughs> Give him the Don Lothario. There we go. We got. We got. This is his. Oh my gosh. Ooh. <laughs> he could have, he's got the full look. He's getting the full treatment. I think she'll like this. Is she into boys that wear makeup? Maybe. She does, she does uh, work as a barista. That lets us know something. <laughs> he's kind of, he, you're true, you're, you're right. He is kind of an Elon Musk of sorts. So he he definitely would not actually wear this. I'm debating whether I actually want to give him this or do I want to be serious and give him a real little look? Because he actually does look good with the Don Lothario hair. Oh, this one's like natural. Here we'll give him we'll give him a little natural makeup. We'll go a little chill. Yeah, maybe not with the suit. I don't know if it's gonna make me. I can go right back and let me just check something. Maybe I maybe I'll give him. What did he have? He didn't have a lot of great options. Okay, so now that I have this fresh new look, I'll invite Naomi to Cliffside. He is going to the park. Maybe he'd just wear his little leather jacket. He just wears a little leather jacket. He's got his he's got his light makeup on. There we go. He's looking good. So you can see his little you can see his little wing. He's got a little blush. Some natural lip. He's a, buddy, you're gonna wash off the makeup I just put on to you. Sir? How rude. What is the, okay, we gotta, so am I supposed to, to invite, no, if I can speak, to invite Naomi to a community lot, click the phone, uh, select a call, then transportation, and then invite a sim to a community lot. Now select Naomi, I'm on, okay. Um, okay, I gotta remember where the phone is. Or can I just hit this one? I don't know if I can just hit that. Oh, here's the phone. I think he also has a cell phone too. Transportation. You got that Don Lothario Riz. Sir, you're gonna melt your makeup off your face. Please stop. Now you're gonna show up looking like this after I picked out your outfit. Okay, okay, invite Sim. Okay, they're making it easy. Look at his booty. Look at his little butt. Um, who the hell's Naomi? This is her. Naomi Hunt. For a second, I thought that was a C and not an H in my brain. I think I saw the C on call and it smushed it over here. <laughs> yeah, he's got a little bit better butt than Mickey. Definitely. A little bit better eyeliner than Mickey. He's all prettied up and ready to go. Okay, so they automatically, like, do a double call moment. That's pretty good. That's not too bad of a deal. Yeah, he sees a stylist every morning. That's his, he's got a personal stylist. I am going to turn the music back down just a little. Okay, so now we're waiting. Sir, I assume you're going to change into your outfit that I assigned you. Now we're going to play pool. Cool. Cool pool. Uh, Cliffside Park. This beautiful three-tiered park provides plenty of benches to enjoy the view down the river. Try the local Maishuno tournament. Okay. 
He's gonna flex his little abbeys. His little rich boy abbeys that may or may not have been paid to a plastic surgeon to acquire. I don't, I, um, I don't know what Naomi's about. Is there any sort of just, ah, oh, the wonderful blessing of nature. It's nice to get outside once in a while. Okay. <laughs> I feel like you don't really feel like that, Vincent. I feel like you would rather destroy all the outside to build some kind of special facility for your technology so you can make money. Oh, here we are. That was quick. Oh boy. Oh, that's right. She's got the, she's got the like, uh, what, oh, what, what did I call it? I can't remember now. She's got the big long skirt on. It's like a, like a hobble skirt. Oh, it's good to see you again, Vincent. What is this? Why are you angry? Thanks for coming out on such short notice. Not the nod. Okay. All right, we're we're doing. Oh, what is what was that? Oh, his influence meter went down or something. Uh, oh, what is this? I'm not used to this type of dating, but I think I really like this girl. I should take the time to get to know her better. What kind of dating is he actually into? That's true. She does have a little bit of uh, like a like a Angela Pleasant, I guess, in her face even. I, th I think they're wearing the same blush. <laughs> I think they're almost wearing the same blush. <laughs> What are we supposed to do? Get to know Naomi. Tell joke, dance, entertain. Okay. Can we enter the park instead of being out on the sidewalk? Oh god, we got more of the, the swing sounds that are going to be going on in the background. Woo! Oh, hi there, Ke Comey. <laughs> I'm, I'm a uh, bonfire teddy bear today. <laughs> I'm cosplaying as a bonfire. <laughs> a while back, I went into uh, my game in, in Sims 2 game, the regular Sims 2 game, and I took a bunch of screenshots of random objects to use as PNG tubers. I kind of just pick a random one at a time. I was turned into a little bear, and I'm going to be set on fire. Not really. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, that's right. We gotta... What do we gotta do? Entertain with joke. Do you think this man has an actual sense of humor? Oh, he's joking about makeup. Interesting. Tell a joke, dance, entertain. Okay, so this is going to take care of a couple of our... I don't think we're able to actually dance yet. We can admire. We can gossip. We can just build up our relationship. I'm assuming we got to get to the point uh, so we can do whatever we need to with her. Doesn't really have like a specific. Oh, okay. That that actually we accomplished it. So I guess it was just a percentage, like a number of points. Interesting. What are they talk gossiping about? The lady on the swings. Oh. oh. Are you any good at my shuno, Vincent? Oh. Oh my gosh, this camera. I'm not the best. Let's give it a shot anyway. Okay. So we're playing this little silly game. Oh my gosh, this man's chilling here, waiting. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I don't ever use this object in the regular game. Okay, they're going to play, apparently. Now, maybe, hopefully no fires erupt during the playthrough. That would be good. Ma'am, I need you to go sit somewhere else, because I'm sitting here. Thanks for your time. What are you, ma'am? Okay, did that end? What happened? Play my Shuno. We need to play. Okay, he's starting now. Is she gonna sit down? Wait, ask to j oh, ask to join. There we go. Mr. Peyton Landry is getting going here. Interesting how they automatically sit down. I feel like I haven't, in like the regular game, I've seen Sims just standing around this object. Um... Is it even a real-life game? Not- I mean, it looks like a bingo ripoff. Yeah, based off of bingo. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Usually bingo doesn't have, like, a cube, obviously. It has just, like, one sheet. And then you pull out the ball that has the number. And you try to get a bingo. I'm guessing? Oh, now we got a different goal. Like, I'll just take a moment to chat with Naomi about the game. Oh. 
Why? Why is the only option play? Oh, because we're still playing my Shuno. Can you get up, sir? Don't can you go here? I think she's still playing. Oh, there we go. Yeah, see, like, there's little plum bobs that are supposed to be, like, the bingo balls. <laughs> oh, he's gossiping about his ex. That's dirty. Okay, are I supposed to literally chat? Oh, there we go. Okay. That was fun. What a close game. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now we just gotta wait. Okay. Can we charm her? Oh my gosh, this man's got a mohawk. Oh, I had a little auto zoom moment. I think. What are his other wants here? Give a back rub? I'm gonna turn down voices a little. <laughs> Just because of that man on the swings. <laughs> Specifically because of that man on the swings. Okay, is that... Oh, oh, we gotta... What is this? Receive package? What are you... Who are you? Kendra Blaze? Kendra, what do you got for us? Uh, our date's swooning this man. What? Oh, oh. It was great... What? Oh my gosh, there's a lot of happening right now. It was great seeing you last night, Vinny. I got you this look of the XT... T.A. Bay Tiki Torch to make next time even hotter. You have my number if you want to party again. See you later, playboy. We've never seen this woman before. I'm sorry, Vincent. I thought we had something special, but it looks like you're just shopping around. <gasps> Somebody's screwing with us. Somebody's screwing with her. I bet it's his ex. He's trying to ruin. She's trying to ruin us. Oh no, she's leaving. This lady, this was not one, I don't, I'm pretty sure she was not even one of the ladies we hit on at the bar. Who is this girl anyway? This is horrible. I really like Naomi. I should go home and gather my thoughts. <laughs> After I finish pushing this stranger on the swings, I'm going to go home and, and think about things. <laughs> yeah, the guy in the swings needs to chill out. Okay, we need to go home, buddy old pal. Can I do this? Home. Look at that magic button. I love that magic button. Are you going or what are we doing, buddy? Yeah, Naomi, it's not what you think. They're lying. Okay, so there's... So it's like sh the ex must be sabotaging him because she's jealous. She doesn't want anybody to get his money. Where are we? What am I doing? Oh. We have returned home. Who are you? That was weird. They both said the same thing at the same time. It came out like an echo. Oh, we got a little chapter. So I had my first date with that barista, Naomi. But it didn't quite go as I'd have liked. I embarrassed myself badly at my Shuno. And this strange girl came up to me and thanked me for the date we never had. Right in front of Naomi. Naomi just stormed off. She didn't even give me a chance to defend myself. Oh, you poor little rich man. <laughs> Very Samantha or whatever his ex's name is hired Kendra. I think so. I'm pretty sure it's Samantha, yes. Which is like I don't I don't necessarily as as a Samantha, I don't appreciate that video game. <laughs> but yes, I think that must be somebody because it's like who else she's really the only villain here? Because there was also somebody that she was on a date with. I don't remember who it is or if they're here. It's not this. We saw the Peyton guy at the park just now. It's not him. I don't remember who it was. The plot thickens. I thought dating people meant going on dates with different people. Yeah, I mean, technically, it's not like like that was our first date. 
<laughs> it's not like we were committed. That is true. Like, if that's what you mean. Like, that was our first time getting to know each other after we handed, like, after we got the, the freaking number. Yeah, wipe my tears with my money. Go cry in my little, my big ugly mansion. My big hideous mansion. He apparently was also, like, a cheapskate on the interior designer. Instead of hiring an actual one, he just said, I'll do it myself and save the money. Why would I pay people a reasonable wage? I'm rich. Yeah, apparently these Sims... Oh, it's the 2000s. They ate <laughs> that story plot whole filled <laughs> drama for breakfast. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> very true. Very, very true. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how I feel for Vincent. Although I like calling him Vince, too. That's a nice... Or Vinny. I did like Vinny. Vinny was a fun moment. He does look very fabulous with his little makeup, though. I will say that. And his little Don Lothario hair. I don't... I think it... Does it have butlers? What? What part? Like... Let me see. I feel like somebody mentioned that last time. I assume the butler... I need to give them a bed. Maybe we could put him a bed, like, out on the po back porch. Or maybe in here. Are you gonna put down your thangy? Yeah, we, so we had the, he looks a little bit more spruced up because in order to get ready for our date, we, he, they had us change his outfit and his hair. And, um, he, we decided to give him a little makeup when we did his little makeover to get him a little zhuzhed up. Bartend, we can hire a bartender, exterminator, or a repairman, or a nanny. So no butler. What happens if we just invite an exterminator over? I don't think I'm gonna- I'll just- we'll leave that. <laughs> we'll leave it be. <laughs> oh, you're tired. I'm so sorry. Come sleep. I definitely am worried about your energy. Because I definitely care about you as a character. I have become invested in you as a character for definitely for reals. Okay. We need to get through another night. I hope, I hope that we don't have to wait for, like, a baby to be born in this one, like, in Riley's story. Because, like, not a, I was not a fan of the, the baby moment. I was just like, I don't care. I'm not playing this family. I don't care if they have a baby. <laughs> Can we move on? Okay. This is, this is wonderful, wonderful content here. We're, we're sleeping. <laughs> Yeah, what's the point of being rich? Huge mansion, but you have to eat spaghetti for dinner. I know. Yes, breeder propaganda. They have the breeder propaganda. What are... Ugh. 2000s. 2000s breeder propaganda. Her fortune sims, at, even at that. Oh, our phone is ringing. Oh. It's Sherman. It's our true love. Just a reminder. The SimSat 9000 communication satellite will be orbiting over Bitville tonight. I would also like to add that our project status is cop copacetic. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pretend I know what that means. Yeah, we could get a buffet. That's true. We could just have the, port, the man live off of a buffet. But what happens when the buffet runs out? He doesn't know how to make food. Yeah, Sherman is very... Uh, very Will Wright, I think. That's that's what he's supposed to be. Okay, he's talking about fancy shoes. <laughs> what if we, Okay, he starts with the first. He was talking about makeup to his girlfriend, and I was talking about uh, high heeled shoes. Maybe maybe this is the story where we could make it. Vincent becomes a drag queen instead. Maybe that's what needs to happen. <laughs> Back. Did I miss anything? Yes, we had a very shady date where somebody showed up and um, tried to pretend that they had gone on a date with us to get our current date angry. And now we're back home <laughs> after our date's mad at us. Yes, there is a nice restaurant. That's true. We could just go out to the restaurant every single time. Okay, so I gotta, we gotta, we're gonna have to wait for him to go to work and everything. I wonder how... Is he gonna show up soon? Oh. Oh. I should call Naomi and try to convince her to give me another chance. 
Then I have to go to work soon. I feel like some of this is like based on what we experienced with Riley's story, there is some parts of the story where they just drag it. They make something last way too long on purpose to try and like fluff up the time you're playing, I'm guessing, instead of making a more detailed storyline. Oh yeah, the gift she got. We could check out the gift. We're going to try and call her. Oh, you've reached her answering machine. I don't know what to do about Naomi. I think she might be screening her calls. I'm going to have his friend call instead. And his friend's going to steal her. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, oh yeah, the, the, the heck? Oh, that's right. She said, what is this? Look of the Exta Bay. Imagine a distant beach at nighttime with fine white sand, clear blue water, clear blue water, and prescription drinks, prescription drinks, endlessly spilled down really loud shirts because of the darkness. Place a and light a couple of these to keep party guests' clothing illuminated by the fire of the volcano god if you dare <laughs> oh yeah maybe vincent should just take a hint so this is it's like a tiki torch is this supposed to be like a reference to castaway turn on this light okay well yeah i better watch out uh oh i'm, I'm getting too close to the fire here i gotta watch out i gotta be careful yeah, maybe it's time for him to leave Lavinia alone. What is the sound I'm hearing? Oh my god. I forgot. In the preview picture, there's a picture of a helicopter. This man goes to work every day in a helicopter. This is his carpool that has arrived. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I forgot about that. Oh my goodness. Look at this lady. This She has no life behind her eyes. She, you, Gosh, this is this this helicopter's got quite the, the the space in here. We can really fit a few people. Oh, yeah, that's right. They react to the sound. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that was fun. Now we get to sit here for a while while he works. How long does he actually work until? Till fifteen hundred. Is that three o'clock? Or is that four o'clock? I don't remember. I think it's three o'clock. Yeah, he really is living the high life. Also, our, our uh, do we have a gardener? I I'm pretty sure we do. I can't remember. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I forgot. I gotta have him play with his new toys. We gotta play with our new toys out here. Oh, oh wow, that was quick. He's already back. Maybe Naomi sent me an email. I'll go check. <laughs> a sign of the times that he's he's gonna like, let me go check my email as soon as I get home. Uh check email. This fancy special also, this computer was so here's the other thing to consider. This computer was given to us by our friend that was staying, that was supposed to be like taking care of the house a little bit, and was like mysteriously gone when we got home. And the house was like a mess and her girlfriend was there trying to marry us. And then he was supposed to like... He just gave us this new computer and didn't really explain why the old one had to go. Do you think there's like some kind of like spy stuff going on in the computer? Like are they tracking him? Also I got a new email and thank you very much Venom Queen for the follow. Welcome in. Uh, I got one new email. I don't recognize this person. Hi, you seem like the kind of guy who really knows how to treat a lady. Let's meet up at the Arcadium Plaza at 6 p.m. I'm sure you'll show me a wonderful time. I just love gifts, Sasha. Okay. That would explain that look it has going on. Yeah, like... What if it's actually, because of course we put it in here, but like anybody could have like went and set it up in the house and they could try to say, oh, it's got a camera attached to it that's been watching them. Uh, what does this say? Greg wasn't kidding about that dating service. J 
Judging by the picture on her profile, this Sasha girl seems pretty fine. <laughs> um, I forgot about that also. He set him up with a dating app or something. I'd rather be figuring things out with Naomi, but I think she's giving me the cold shoulder. So this is kind of like the Riley thing, where we're going to end up with like a love triangle. Yeah, for The Sims 3, it would be great for them to have uh, a little dating app. That'd be fun. Like in The Sim, I mean, in The Sims 2, like in The Sims 3. Yeah, yeah Vincent's getting catfished 110%. Like he's definitely, somebody's going to jump him. Why not? I might as well gussy up and see what Sasha's all about. Do you think Sasha likes men with even more makeup than we have currently on? <laughs> Do you think we should add a little eyeshadow to the current look? <laughs> oh, look at this. It's literally a picture of lipstick. <gasps> Vincent being a... Vincent is a, is an icon. Is a, is a makeup beauty guru. He's a booty guru. <laughs> he wants red lipstick. <laughs> We've already got a little bit of glam going. He needs, he needs to really impress this girl. Do we have like a bright red? That's like a little bit darker red. That's like... Oh, there's a bright red. There we go. Look at that. There we go. We got our bright red. <laughs> She's getting progressively. We'll just do a little bit at a time. Each date he puts on even stronger makeup. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, and he's got to always jump right in the damn... Oh, did that not count? Oh, click on your mirror and then gussy up. Oh, okay. They didn't want us to actually put lipstick on him. They wanted us to pretend. Sure. We we decided to actually put lipstick on him. That's okay. Look at his lipstick matches his speedo. He's such a fashionable little icon. <laughs> I'm having more fun goofing with with Vincent. I almost just called him Vidkind in my head. <laughs> Forget about Naomi. She's going to ignore me over a silly misunderstanding. I better hurry up and meet Sasha. She said to meet at the Arcadium Plaza at 6 p.m. Okay. We gotta... Oh, I can I can hit my fancy pantsy go to community lock button. Is that what it's... Is that what it's... Greet Sasha. I like these little custom icons. Sir, you need to get out of the freaking hot tub. Please and thank you. I'm asking you I'm I'm begging, Vincent. There we go. Okay. I guess you're probably gonna get back in the hot tub while we're waiting. I'm sure they're gonna be like right here immediately. There we go. Arcadium Plaza. We go, we go. Yeah, bro trusts people way too easily. I'm kind of enjoying Vincent more than I'm enjoying Riley ever ever enjoyed Riley. <laughs> I think we need to I think Vincent needs to actually get with Sherman. And, and just that'll be the ha happily ever after. Yeah, he's gonna get mugged or something's gonna happen. Like, I'm also thinking like, is there any way that that gift was a foreshadowing? Like some kind of tiki torch? Like what would that, could that be a foreshadowing of something or, or anything or would it just be random? They also got a pool table, like a random pool table. Is that a foreshadowing? Is he gonna get hit around like some balls? <laughs> is that it? Dun dun dun. Who dat? You're not Sasha. Oh, he got out and did like a little sad thing. Why did he do that? He's worried about his stock prices. Is that Sasha? I think that's her. That's her. Wait. She's actually real. Hi, Sasha. Look at her beautiful little red lipstick. We can see it so well on our on our little face. <laughs> We can be our, we can get our king a couple new outfits at the plaza. Yes, that's very true. You've got the money for it. Hello, Vincent. You know, I love a man who knows how to use his starch. What? I love a man who knows how to use his starch. That outfit must have been made, must have made a lot of noise in the dryer. Um, thanks, I think. You know damn well this man doesn't know how to run a dryer. What are you talking about? I should get to know Sasha a little bit first. Sasha, where did you buy your dress? Do you think they make it in my size? Am I supposed to just... Uh, just talk with her? Chat. Yeah, she's... I think Sasha's more attractive than the other chick. From what I'm, from what I'm seeing. I like her little hairdo. Yeah, the Karen cut's a little rough. Maybe if it was one of those, like, 
fun custom colored versions of the cut, it wouldn't be too bad. Make it a little less Karen. Yeah, this is The Sims 2. What's a dryer? What kind of- what- what universe is she from? Setup. Yeah, it's- it's gotta be a setup of some kind. It's absolutely gotta be. I don't- I assume I'm supposed to just get- kind of like with the other one where I need to just get a certain, uh, some kind of hidden points towards our relationship. Yeah, she's from the future. Which game did the dry- I guess The Sims 3 introduced the dryer first, didn't it? Hmm. Yeah, it's true. Vincent probably hires people to clean his clothes. I mean, he has a maid, so we're gonna guess that he does not touch his own clothes. I do want to try and find the most absurd outfit for Vincent. Maybe we'll take a break from our goal. Oh, we just accomplished our goal. Hey, while we're here, do you mind if I try some clothes on? Sure, we're already at the mall. Why not? There we go. We'll stop telling jokes. We'll let her go do her thing. Nice. We're gonna, we're gonna, here, go here, buddy. Look at this girlie's pink, purple, or not pink, purple cheetah pants. These are fun. Little cheetah spots. Vincent, come check out my outfits. Is, am I gonna have to, like, watch her change outfits? Go here, Vincent. Can we, like, watch? <laughs> Can I click on watch? Can we sit? Can we go sit out here? This, uh, this is also not hard. This is an interesting little piece of furniture. That's unique to this game. Look at- this is a nice little end table. We could use that as a coffee table. Okay, she's- on this rug also. I like- I like a lot of the furniture. Oh! Ma'am, I don't know how I feel about that one. <laughs> Are you- you're proud of this one? Isn't this so cute? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> not the- not the cultural appropriation. Yeah, J Vincent wants to try some new clothes on, too. Oh, what about this one? I only have one option. I wish we had different options. Yeah, I know. You must agree. Okay, do like this. I do approve of this one. Imagine if- I guess? Wait, Vincent! This is the only good one so far! I guess, dot dot dot. Uh-oh. Uh Oh, uh, wait, how did he just lose? He lost like 800 bucks. What the heck? I saw like, I saw like a, a hundred something and, or like 200 or something and then eight and 7.99. I'm, I'm sorry. This girl is just after my simoleons. I need a way to send, end this date now. As Sherman would say, pecunia ex machinia. Whatever that means. I really like children, Vincent. How about you? I think our kids would look very cute. I'll let you think it over. <laughs> she mugged him, but like in a cute way. <laughs> she she had him buy a dress. Well, you know what? We can also buy a dress. Actually, I don't think they're going to let us buy a dress, but maybe we can hope. Oh, hello? Hey, it's my old golfing buddy. Of course that's your old golfing buddy. Dr. Max Oglethorpe. <laughs> Oglethorpe? The only the only thing he likes better than his simoleons is sending them. Oh, is spending them. Duh. Uh, I'm sure he and Sasha could use an introduction. Oh, I like this. <laughs> we're gonna pawn her off on some old man. All right, we're still gonna buy some clothes first though. Let's see what what can we get. We need something flamboyant. Ooh, we're gonna add that one on. Need something good. Do we want a kilt? We got it. Okay, this is the closest to a dress <laughs> we could find. <laughs> is he a kilt boy? Ooh, we can get a suit. This is part of our technology. Sure, I bet Sherman would love us in this. This would turn Sherman on. You can't tell me that would not turn Sherman on. Yeah, she 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 stood on him while stood over him while he sat on the couch. Definitely, it was very intimidating. Oh my gosh, we got these. I'm just seeing if there's anything nice and flashy. We need some flash. Actually, this is pretty good flashy. That's, I feel like this is a good little rich man flash. We gotta go right there. I'm gonna go with those two. Oh, one of the half button things I could do, like a, we could make him a full Don Lothario wannabe. 
could be a full oh she's following us around sasha i'll even buy one more thing we'll buy one of the one of the don lothario type ones i don't think this isn't like don's default outfit but i always end up putting him in one of these kind of like the black on black i'm gonna get him this first one here we go that actually would look very good with his makeup having his little chest out Okay, so am I supposed to- how- what am I supposed to do here? Click Dr. Oglethorpe and then choose Introduce to Sa- Oh, look at him! He's like, call me, baby! Oh, looks like they've introduced each other? Oh, not Influence to. Introduce to Sasha. I think they've got a little chemistry going. I think, I think. There we go. There we go, we have an introduction. Thanks for introducing to me, me to this lovely young lady, you. By the way, remember that new grill? I'm gonna pause it before it disappears on me. Uh, remember that new grill I had at my garden last garden party? It's yours. I just bought an even, even better one. Here's my handy down grill. Uh, thank you very much for the follow, Purple House. Thank you, welcome in. Oh, that's true. They have the same counters here as at his house. Uh, I can't remember. Do we have the introduced to interaction? I think that there is. I'm pretty sure. Or at least I remember it in my game, but I have so many mods at this point. It's, sometimes it's hard to remember what's actually in the game and what's like a mod. <laughs> Welcome in, Purple House. <laughs> we're, we're in the midst of, of Vincent's mess. We've just bought him a nice little outfit. Actually, can I change him into his outfit here? It will not let me click on these at all. Like, why not? I can only change his appearance. This is, oh, actually, oh, these are nice. This is like a longer version of that couch in a different color. And this is also a nice little end table. I really like the furniture in this game and the floor. Oh, it certainly seems like those two are getting along well. I'm clear to get out of here now. Okay, we can run. Oh, let me make sure it go home is the goal. Yeah. Oh. Okay. We can get the hex out of here. Yeah, I swear I remember the introduction. I feel like it's like your sim has to have a certain relationship and, you know, that sim has to be like a new, like invited over kind of thing. Yeah, I don't remember. I feel like there's times where it's, it shows up at, like, weird times. Or, like, the sim that you want to introduce to doesn't know that sim yet. And it's like, if that sim's invited over, they might, by chance, end up knowing them already kind of thing. I don't know. I feel like I've had, like, uh, sims that are um, in a relationship like say it's like a teenager and they invite their little boyfriend or girlfriend over and then I can do it if their parent hasn't met the boyfriend girlfriend yet. I feel like I see it usually in those sorts of situations. But I think they have to not know each other yet. I would assume. Okay, so we're headed home. I haven't caught on fire yet, so we're doing good so far. <laughs> This always screws me up. It loads me in at the, this corner, and I don't know where I'm going. Oh, look at this fancy picture. I met this girl named Sasha through Symphonize e-dating. She was pretty enough, but obviously a gold digger. So I introduced her to my golfing buddy, Dr. Oglethorpe. The doctor seems to like a girl who appreciates the finer things in life, like his bank account. At least, Sasha was honest about her intentions. I never really knew what Samantha was thinking at all. I'm pretty sure I miss Naomi. <laughs> oh my god, this man. He's just, he's just, all these women. All these women. Yes, it is it's usually a good idea, good, or a good day when we don't catch on fire. Most of the time. Okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna go make some more spaghetti. This man's uh, specialty is spaghetti. We're back into the salsa house. Okay, so we're just you're just waiting. I'm gonna take out the oh, we got a big fancy thingy majigger. Oh, I'm gonna delete the last one. We'll get rid of that and we'll get this one. 
Oh, whoops. I meant to delete, not put away. There we go. He gave us our, our, our a little secondhand grill. Oh, we could make some hot dogs instead. But I also got to change his um, change his outfit. We'll give him we'll give him the the open chested one for now. That's his casual wear, and then he can wear the suits when he's got to go somewhere. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's more common for it to show up at parties. I feel like I've also seen it show up, like when. Um, I invite like family over like family to a dorm for like a, a graduation party in the university. I feel like I've I've used it there. Like if the kids ended up with a relationship with somebody at a dorm or while they were at college. Mm, Obviously, I don't think it's it's like not only available there, but I feel like I've seen it then. to be a youtuber streamer but i don't know if i need more than just a laptop to do it yeah it depends on how how beefy the laptop is <laughs> uh some some laptops can be can handle i mean youtuber is a lot simpler streamer you end up needing a lot more programs and stuff open i'm still just barely getting into the streamer part myself so you know gosh these, this, that is a Kind of a little bit of a sad looking little spaghetti meatballs. Oh, it's in, and it's gone. All right, sir, we need you to plan your outfit. I love his little red lipstick. I'm obsessed with the red lipstick, Vincent. Ah, uh, yes, look at that. Look at this slick. He's looking good. <laughs> Look at, his, look at his handsome man's <laughs> little Don Lothario wannabe. Yeah, laptops probably good for starting out as a as a like a YouTube, especially it probably would be easy enough with a laptop. And thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> yes, he is. He's looking very stylish. Of course, he's thinking about money. What else would he be thinking about? We don't really have to do anything. Can we invite our friends over? Are we allowed to invite Sherman and Kyle or whatever the hell his name was? What is his name? Oh, his name is Greg. <laughs> it's not Kyle. <laughs> Call Sim. Can I throw party? It doesn't let me throw party. I just want to, I just want some folks here. I don't know if that's going to screw anything up. Let's invite Sherman over. Invite over. And then we'll call another Sim. We'll invite, we'll invite Kyle, Greg. <laughs> Kyle, Greg. I'll be there in a few. Nice. Yes, that's true. They can, um, I have uh, a couple of external hard drives that I store things in. Of course, depending on how old they are, I end up deleting them if they're already uploaded and everything. But it can be, it can be quite a, quite a hog to, uh, have all the, the raw footage. Um, I'll be able to use a webcam with just the laptop. Um, depends on how you want your videos to look and whether they whether you're able to, you know, have the, the angle you want with your webcam on your laptop and everything. And yeah, editing can be a process for learning. Um, depending on your... I would definitely suggest looking into all the different kinds of editing programs you can use and stuff. Let me start with a cell phone as a camera. I've seen. I think I've seen people use that. You can kind of hook up a smartphone, like as a as a almost like a webcam. Yeah, you can like plug them into the computer in a way, which probably isn't that bad of a of a quality because a lot of them now have, depending on when it was, but a lot of them have good quality. Oops, that's not Greg. There's Greg. Invite over. Let's invite the boys over. I need I need some help from the manses. You know, Vincent, Vince is just really craving some male attention right now. Yeah, a home D&D &D session. These guys look like that's exactly what they'd be doing. I feel like, um, I guess it doesn't really identify whether they're like co-workers, but it feels like Sherman is like a guy that works for us. Oh, I forgot. He wears like the Goopy Girls Carbo fit. Come here, Sherman. Great Sherman. I love Sherman. Where's Sherman's story? Look at his man. He's perfect. Mover. Oh, I can greet everyone too. Sir, I need you to. St Why is it you always you with the espresso coming in here? My gosh. 
uh, better quality than my actual webcam. But yeah, more complicated. I bet it probably was. Oh, <laughs> yeah. The coworkers. I've never played D and D before. But yeah, I I've had a webcam um, for a while. Before I used my webcam, I actually uh, was able to hook up a camera that I had as a webcam. It was a kind of a fancy. Is a um, what do you call it? It's a Canon Rebel T7i, which is kind of like a fancier digital camera um, that I used. But I decided I wanted like a more sleek uh, webcam that sort of wasn't so clunky. And I used that for a while. But then I actually just recently decided to set the Canon back up for having a little bit of a crisper photo quality. I've got that all set up for when I actually want to use my webcam. <laughs> Not today. Oh, look at these two boys playing. Here, we need to, we need to play... I almost said chess. We need to play pool with everybody. Oh no, your DM canceled your canceled your uh, <laughs> session. That's too bad. I vaguely I vaguely know some of the terms. <laughs> Are you gonna join us, Sherman? Please, I need your support right now. All the girls want me, and I don't know who to choose. You know how that feels, don't you, Sherman? Oh, you don't? Okay, sorry. Yeah, you'd have to just test it out and see how, how you like it and what you want it to, if you want it to, if it looks good to you or not and all that. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. I think we have a, we have an error. Is there not enough space here? Can I move this? I don't think that blocked him, actually. Are we having an issue? Are we having an error? Uh-oh. Okay. Well, you're not very fun. What happens if I flirt with Sherman? <laughs> I'm intrigued by the idea of Sherman. <laughs> I'm intrigued by the Sherman. Does he enjoy the flirt? Maybe, maybe, maybe Vincent is a bisexual icon. Okay, we're tired. The flirt went well, actually. Um, I tried to do it over the summer. Yeah, sometimes it just takes a little practice to getting used to. If you decided something you really want to do, you end up having to kind of try and work through it a little bit. Okay, I guess we're just going to sleep for the night um, and let these boys run wild. Greg is, is probably peeing in our hot tub. I don't know where Sherman went. Sherman's around. I don't know if we should trust Sherman. Um, how long have you been playing The Sims 2? Um, oh God, I've been playing The Sims 2 since it came out. Um, because I was playing, I, was, I originally played The Sims 1 back before The Sims 2 existed. <laughs> and um, the, I think, because I originally got The Sims 1 for free, my mom got a new gateway computer <laughs> and it came with a free copy of The Sims 1 and that's how I got into playing The Sims was through that. And then at one point I got into buying the expansion packs or like asking to have expansion packs for my parents. And then um, that's when I, I remember seeing an ad for The Sims 2 on the back. And yeah, I, I was able to, I remember being very excited driving, riding home with a new fresh copy of The Sims 2 Looking at the back, I remember being obsessed with the ages, being able to have all the different age state spans and everything. So yeah, <laughs> we look so young. Yeah, I don't, let's see, it came out in 2004, which I would have been in like four, third or fourth grade at that point. So, I mean, I, w I was young, but yeah. Now, when Sherman sat on the sofa after Ferd, I thought, for a second, oh, it was a casual sit, yeah. Oh, gosh, I can't imagine what ACR full blast would do during this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you bought your first computer just so I, so you could play The Sims. Yes, the ad for the, t I remember the teen age was amazing to think about. And, and I think Sims 2 did teens really well with just the, I don't know, that obnoxious teenage 2000s 
style <laughs> they just they they hit it the nail on the head <laughs> with that so it made you want to goof around with the teen age and have all the chaos have them running away and doing all kinds of stuff but yeah so i think i i was looking the other trying to look the other day in storage in the basement trying to see if i could find some of my old boxes game boxes and stuff which i swore i had a bunch down there i gotta figure them out I almost want to get them all out and then, like, set them up on a shelf or something behind me. I think that would be kind of neat. Um, yeah, I'm... I don't... So, the, the issue with... So, on, on Twitch, it's kind of suggested not to talk age too much. Just because sometimes it starts a conversation of people talking about their age. And if they're too young to be on here, it can cause too like some issues and stuff. So I'd, be, I'd probably would rather just not talk too much specific age because it's just very common on Twitch to not do age talk because um, you never know who's watching. And if some kid happens to pop up and say, I'm 10, you might, uh, you might, they might end up with some creep in their DMs or something. And then also technically I'm not allowed, I have to ban them because it's, they're too young to be here and everything and it's the whole thing. So usually it's kind of not, age talk isn't something that's, too popular on Twitch, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm in my I'm I'm over twenty five. I'll say that. <laughs> uh, I think back about the ex extraordinary jump from The Sims one to two. Three was huge, but there really may not have been another jump like that. Yeah, it's true. There was a massive jump from Sims one to Sims two, and then Sims three was like where they started to say, okay, now we accomplished the actual life simulation. What can we do now? And then they almost went a little too far. And, like, made it too kooky and uh, non-optimized and weird. Also, I don't know. I'm going to fast forward. I don't really know what we're doing here. We're just waiting. Um, oh, I hear a helicopter. Thankfully, this, this three-speed in this game is extremely fast. Um, I remember my parents bought me The Sims 2 when I was really young. I didn't know what woohoo meant and was scarred from this cutscene. That's funny. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, the burglar music. Yeah, that's definitely, especially in The Sims 1, but all the games, they did a pretty good job with the burglar music. And for The Sims 4, do they have, did they, they, they put burglars in the game yet? Gosh, it seems like he comes home really quick. I guess the, just the fast forward works really well. Wow, he earned 2,500 bucks from that one day. Oh, he's got a girl he brought home. Aaron Philippine. <laughs> not Philippine. <laughs> I don't I don't know about Philippine. No burglars in the Sims 4. Oh, it was Trump. Yeah, I don't know. Sims 4 is a little bit too watered down in that way. A little bit too watered down. I'm excited to try and dip into some of the console games because some of the console games got pretty kooky. <laughs> like I, I've mentioned before, I really I remember playing busting out a little bit as a kid. Uh, still no burglars in The Sims 4, but I think the music plays a bit. If you have cottage living in a fox comes. OK, let's they just did that for the trailer. OK, yeah, I don't know. I I have cottage living and I remember trying to play it a little bit. I haven't, I don't know if I've noticed that. I mean, I haven't played it in a million years, but. Oh, yeah, I bet there's burglar mods plenty. Oh, what is this? Oh, my gosh, another one. I feel like, I feel like these girlies are getting paid to screw with him. I feel like that's got to be what's going on. Hello, I saw on your e-dating profile that you really enjoy Don Calamari's. It's one of my favorite restaurants as well. Would you like to meet me there tonight for dinner? Okay. <laughs> okay, this man is... I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I like Don Calamari's tonight. What did you say your name was? Alexa. Alexa Star. Just come by Don's a little later. I'll be there. I didn't get to finish that. Oh, wait, he hung up? Wait, she hung up? Great, my name is Vincent Mo... Hello? Interesting. Okay. I mean, wouldn't she know his name from the dating profile? Don Calamari's is a really nice restaurant. I'll go dust off my tux. Oh, crap. Is it going to make us wear... 
Wait, let me see. Formal wear. I wonder if any of the clothes we bought him technically go under the formal wear also, and they'll let us put it on that way. Hmm. Not quite. I guess we're going to put on one of these. I'll put on the white one. Change into formal. There we go. Look at you with your bright red lipstick and your, and your formal wear. Yeah, the trauma helps build character, of course. <laughs> oh, Alexa is probably waiting for me at Don Calamari's by now. I should hurry up. Okay, well, gee whiz, fine. Um, I hear ya. I know. I, why don't they make him a romance sim? Any, I wish they would make him anything but a fortune sim, but also, like, he's a rich guy, so I, it makes sense in some kind of way, but... I don't know. Oh, that's right. Yeah, where's... Did the co-worker he invited over... Is she still here? Oh, yeah. She's out here playing guitar. I guess he is just ditching her. I don't think she's part of the storyline. Oh. Don Calamari's. From the mountaintops to the riverbed, there is no f finer dining in Bitville. Sometimes you can catch Don entertaining the guests, and if you are lucky, he might flounder into the kitchen. Okay, is this a man we're talking about? Or a fish? No, the infant update's coming. Apparently the baby is a steamy game, but they be counted as a newborn. Oh, interesting. So it's like newborn and then baby? That's weird. So there's like even, it's like not just replacing one stage, it's adding a whole new one? That's interesting. Huh. I don't know how I, I don't know how I feel about that. That's kind of interesting. I don't really, I mean, I don't play The Sims 4 in general. Old, oh, what is this? Oh, good old Don Calamari's. I made my first million on a deal he made right here on these tables. <laughs> not his, not his small million dollar loan. Is this her, Alexa Star? Do we greet her? What do we do? What do I do? Go here. Oh, what? Here goes nothing. At least this is my favorite restaurant. Do I need to talk to her? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's probably Alexa by the coffee bar. Hey, she looks cute. She's not wearing something fancy. She just got a regular old dress on. And she's buzzed. She's actually quite pretty. I think she's even a little tiny bit prettier than the last one. Oh, we gotta greet her. Interesting. Oh, okay. The, the, the head nod. Oh, hello. I'm going to try to say it. Kimikos. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. <laughs> oh, the coffee at Dawn's. Oh, it's going to go. Oh, okay. It went away. I think she said she liked the coffee. She's drinking too much coffee, I think. I got to order it. She it looks like she, she was already shaken when she showed up and she's had one. And now she's having another one. Oh my gosh. This girly is buzzing. This girly is about to like have a freaking heart attack. Yeah, I know. I feel like all of these girlies are hired. Like these are some hired ladies. For for th this are, these are not like actual folks. <laughs> My name is Alexa too, and I can relate to a coffee addiction. <laughs> Feeling represented. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, that's true. He is kind of tired all the time. Even even the, the fancy new concealer he got to cover his eye bags is not enough. Whoa, that really, that's, that's really strong coffee. I need to head to the restroom and fast. Oh my gosh, look at it, it just tanked his bladder. Oh my goodness. Should I just force him to pee himself here? This is, this is where he becomes Vidkind. Oh, I guess we're gonna go. Oh, I could have used our fancy pantsy little standing up thing. Alexa seems all right. Maybe this eating thing will work out. Oh my gosh, I'm getting thrown. <gasps> it's Samantha. Oh my gosh. She's laughing at us. What was that ruckus? <laughs> she just ran off the lot. Do you think she spiked the coffee with something that gave us like uh, diarrhea or <laughs> something? <laughs> what is going on? 
Also, this man is ex look at how happy this man is. He just like sigh. Look at this happy little man. He's just he's enjoying himself. Bill. His name's Bill. Oh, by the way, can you buy the aspiration benefits from this? I don't know. Um, I mean, probably not on this lot. Yeah, I'll have to see. It looks like there might be an option. We'll have to see when we get home. She must have put laps laxatives in his coffee. Look at how happy this little man's is. He's just, he's just so excited. Oh. I love your hair, mister. What, what did you say your name was? My name is... Okay, let me pause. Do you smell that good, that food? I'm getting hungry. Why don't you go get us seated? Okay, she literally is bad. She's bad at acting like she gives a crap about us. Bill is dead inside. Look at those eyes. <laughs> Maybe it's just the coffee. He's just like, it's fascinating. I don't know why he's doing that idol. He's just so happy. He's just like, it's like he's swooning over somebody or so. Oh, 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 he just snapped out of it. <laughs> oh, now he's back. <laughs> I think Bill's actually a psychopath. <laughs> oh, we're out here on the, the, the fancy little veranda thingy. This, this all looks so good. Why don't you be a gentleman and order for me? Oh my god, she's buzzing. Order for all? What are we going to order? What's the most expensive? Mm, I guess the lobster. We could, we could force her to drink with just water. We could be a cheapskate. <laughs> oh wow, you have four cups. Yikes. I drink a lot of coffee too, but... I don't ever really have like withdrawal from it, but maybe I just drink it too much to even know. <laughs> yeah, pay Bill doesn't get paid enough. He needs he needs a raise. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> He's living the dream. Why are you so happy, sir? He's so funny. Yeah, I know. I want to see if she'll explode. Look at her go, man. She's just wowza. And we're not even we had one. I mean, I guess it went right through us, but still. We think they're actually having a good date. Oh, does your food taste a little funny? I'm feeling a little... Uh, oh my god. Zzz, not the zzz. Oh my gosh. What is happening? Who's laughing? I heard a laugh. <laughs> I just can't get over this man. <laughs> I can't get over how happy he is. <laughs> Uh, hello, Deli Sibs. I love life stories. I remember it was so much fun the first time. Yeah, it's been very interesting so far. Finally, a chance to, in to introduce myself properly. My name is Vincent Moore. Nice to meet you, Alexa. <laughs> okay, that, that was pretty funny. I do appreciate that little bit of humor there. Yeah, it's been a very interesting little adventure so far. People drink strong coffee in America in general? I think so, kind of. I mean, it depends. I mean, I feel like half of it, half of the coffee now is like all sugar and flavor and stuff, but it depends on what kind of coffee you drink. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty popular. And oh, thank you very much for the follow, Nika Sims. Welcome in. Uh, if you excuse me, I'm gonna keep eating while you pass out. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Hi there, Nika Sims. Oh, I think I missed a little pop up. Alexa, wait. I didn't quite see what she said. I wish the pop-ups would stay longer. I almost wish it was like The Sims 3 where they stay there until... Okay, I think she said something about having to go. Do we think that there was actually something in the food, or was it that she just was so buzzed that she crashed? What is this? Receive package again? Man, the, the, the creators just learned how to uh, have somebody randomly receive a package? Oh my gosh, that fast forward is weird. And they, but they just went to town with, with giving packages, giving presents. Yeah, Samantha definitely did something illegal. Uh, where are we at here? Thanks, Don. Or I'll start down here. Mr. Moore, I am so sorry that your experience at Don Calamari's has not been an enjoyable one. Oh, this is Don himself. This is Don Calamari himself. It has not been an enjoyable one. Please accept this one-of-a-kind espresso machine as our gift to you. Thanks, Don. The food was great, as always. I'm not sure what happened. One minute we were talking, then she was fast asleep. So I'm guessing, 
Okay, I'll see you. Because I just remembered, obviously, Samantha was in the kitchen being evil looking. So I'm guessing that that plate that she ate was supposed to go to him. That's probably must have been what happened, I'm, I guess. Okay, so well we got we got a we got a nice interaction from V Don Calamari, who is in fact a human and not a fish. Or or octopus or whatever the heck cal calamari is. <laughs> I forgot. Why are we staring at this man? Can we go home? Jack Trimble. Leave Jack Trimble alone, he's eating. Oop, oh, I'm in the wall. Why are you standing up? What is happening? What are you doing to this man? Why are you thinking about gold? Er, are we supposed to go home? Yes, we're supposed to go home. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I got a full-on espresso machine. Oh, I did? Wait, for having a time- I wasn't even paying attention. I thought you were saying you got one. <laughs> it's like, oh, you did? Oh, yeah, Epstein's espresso machine, not Epstein. Yeah, I know. <laughs> when I go on a bad date, all I get is regret. <laughs> exactly. There we go. Well, this was, this was, I will say his, I feel like his story is, is constantly kind of moving forward a little bit more. There were times with Riley's where it was a little bit slow. We're like, we we're just waiting for something. It seems like he's doing a pretty good job. Yeah, that name didn't age well. Hi there, Daydreamer. Welcome in. I'm a bonfire tonight. How are you? <laughs> Wow, this espresso machine is pretty nice. That Don, he's all right. It sure t is nice to be home again, though. This e-dating thing just isn't working out. I'll have to try something else tomorrow. Like calling back Naomi? Maybe? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, we got our little chapter. I've said that Alexa was a sophisticated lady. Oh, I'd have said. She was a sophisticated lady until she fell asleep in her meal at Don Calamari's. At least I got a free espresso, espresso machine from the restaurant. But I really think Alexa needs it more than I do. Hmm. I wonder if Naomi has a coffee machine of her own at home. Oh my god. Yeah, he's thinking about Naomi. This man <laughs> needs to make up his mind. Let him take a little shower. This other Brittany lady keeps calling him, though. He has nothing to do with the storyline. Yeah, he is down bad for this random nerd girl. All these very attractive women. He really just, he just wants that little, little, little barista. He just wants her. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna take a little shower. Very nice. Yeah, maybe that's the- I bet it is. <laughs> Apparently that is the Alexa. Her name was Alexa Star. It's the Alexa, the Amazon Alexa. Uh, if, if the Amazon Alexa has an unhealthy espresso addiction, then it is probably her. Because this Alexa does. <laughs> she almost exploded her own heart on espresso. So, something to keep in mind. Maybe that's how Alexa is always there to answer every question. I'm guessing. Okay, are we just chilling? We just we could we oh, oh my gosh, our lady, this lady's still here that came home with us. Are you trying to say goodbye? Okay, we're chat. She's just like, hey, where you been all day? I'm just chilling here at your wonderful mansion, playing, playing. Uh, actually, we haven't played. Our our new pool. Our uh, what do I want to say? My my brain. Bowling. <laughs> our bowling pool. <laughs> our pool bowling. Poolside bowling. Yeah, Alexa never sleeps, so it checks out. Oh! Oh! She just decided to jump in our, our hot tub naked! This is our co-worker that randomly came home from uh, with us. Join. <laughs> casual join. A casual join, perhaps? Yeah, poolside bowling. I'd be afraid that there'd be some kids swimming in the water and the the the, the ball would roll off and knock him in the head. Let me see what there we go. This is what we need. Splash. Do you think she'll like a casual little splash a rooney? A little splash a rooney? 
Yeah, one little one little splash of Rooney won't hurt. Maybe another one? We can't do anything fun though. I, I wonder if ACR is able to be installed in this. That'd be so chaotic. I don't I wouldn't want to because I don't want to like ruin the game, the whole storyline and stuff, but that'd be so funny. It'd be funny to do like a playthrough where you try to figure out how badly you can screw things up. Oh wait, she looks familiar. I think we saw her on a community lot. Listen to bragging. She's trying to brag to us. Can we just say goodbye to her and maybe, like, go to bed? Wait for tomorrow. Oh, he just decided not to say goodbye to her and go to bed immediately. Sir? Can you not be rude, please? Thank you? Yeah, gutter balls would not be good. <laughs> that would not be great. Splash zone. Oh, no. Okay, she's finally leaving. Underwater bowling. I mean, the balls are so heavy. Why not? Your outfit wasn't too bad. It was kind of a fun little look. Once again, are we making spaghetti again? Yep, this man's got his comfort spaghetti. Are you gonna go to- not the espresso, buddy. You need to go, just go to sleep so I can get you- get you through the day. Please, there we go. <laughs> we gotta get on to the next. On to the next. The game has not let me give the house a makeover. Which is honestly crime. I can't even click the button. It won't even ever let me click the button. I wonder if it would. I don't know that it has a ton of options. I mean, there's some new, like, furniture sets that are nice, but I don't know what kind of option there is. Because, like, we even noticed in the, like... This is all there is in the sculpture category. There's like three that are actually sculptures, and the rest is just random junk. Like, that's it. It would almost be it. Like, look at the plants. It's like, kind of sad. <laughs> I assume they're going to have us ca call Naomi tomorrow. I'm assuming that's what's going to happen. Yeah, there's probably an actual cheat to unlock build mode. I haven't looked into the cheats for this game yet. I've been just trying to play it vanilla. Which so far it hasn't been an issue. But yeah, it I probably could go into like a build mode. Cheat. Kind of okay, he wants to go to work. Do we have to work today? Yeah, we do. He makes 2500 bucks a day. He's absurd. Yeah, his carpool will come along. So we'll just zoom him through. His work day goes by really fast. Wait, oh, here is his helicopter's arriving. Man goes to work on a helicopter. If you if you didn't if you missed that part, this is his carpool. <laughs> Let him head off to work. There he goes. Yeah, the house. I feel like the house with a little bit of a work. It could look better, but I don't. I think the bones of the house could be good. It's just there's there's some weird choices made. The main thing that drives me nuts are, is this. This is what's really getting to me. And then it's happening also right here. <laughs> the house is perfect, just like it is, with all of its mismatched uh, appliances. Oh my gosh, that phone's screeching in my ear. Okay, good. It's coming back. I'm hoping that's... Oh, it stopped. I was going to say, I hope that's a scripted call, but I'm guessing it's not because it stopped. We brought another friend home from work. Who's this? Heath. Why are you so upset with the helicopter you arrived on, sir? Okay. Alright. <laughs> he wants to eat lobster thermidor. He just had lobster thermidor. Yeah, I do I do appreciate some of the ugly as like Max's charm. I do appreciate that. Like that's not lost on me. I do, but it's also, also these two are matching. He's got a little matching outfits. But yeah, it'd also be fun to zhuzh it up a little bit. It's true, it looks like, just, he looks just like Comey Tellerman. He probably is a, a Comey clone. Also, I don't have a, I don't have commands yet. I sleep, asleep in her food? Am I cursed? Every time I leave the house, something bad happens. Oh god, it's Kevin. Vincent. 
If you're going to hang around the house today, you should at least throw a party. I talked to Naomi at the bowling alley yesterday. I think she might be willing to give you another shot. Maybe I can head off some of these dating disasters by staying at home today. Seems a lot safer. Okay, Kevin. I mean, not Kevin. I keep calling him Kevin. It's Greg. Mr. Greg. <laughs> he's like, he's cheering us up. What a good buddy. So we gotta, okay, what? Wait. You should invite over Alexa as well, dude. I think she might get the hots for your old pal, Greg. Plus, you kind of owe me one since I talked to Naomi for you. So we're going to invite over both of our dates? So Vincent and Naomi, something shady happened. Because Vincent went on a date with Naomi to the park, and then some random chick he never met showed up and started talking to him like, wow, I loved your our hot date the other night. Here's a gift. And she got upset and left us. But it, we didn't actually know that chick. So like somebody's screwing with us. And now we've had two other dates with with online dating chicks. And like they're all like sketchy, like somebody's setting us up. We also just saw Samantha in the kitchen at this restaurant, and I think she planted something in her food. But then it, our date accidentally ate it instead of instead of him. And she like passed out and stuff. So there's like some shady dating happening right now. It's very sketchy. Uh, Greg's right about one thing. I'm letting this pool go to waste. Okay, so we're inviting over two of the women we've gone on dates with. This sounds like a great idea. Sounds fantastic. Am I supposed to just call? Get on the phone and choose call Sim. Uh, okay, so they said we're not going to code in the party option into this game at all. Even though we want you to throw a party, we're not going to put that in the game. We're going to force you to call Naomi and then have to separately call Alexa. <laughs> but we decided to, to code in the special community lot button. Oh yeah, and we didn't want to give you Chinese food. Okay. <laughs> also, I forgot, I forgot Mr. Comey Tellerman wannabe is here. Yeah, I wonder why, why was, that's true, Greg, I feel like Greg might be shady too. Because I was reading the message, why were you talking to Naomi, Greg? I wonder, because he was the one that like was here with her, not with Naomi, but with Samantha. And like there was some shady business that happened because he gave us the new computer and everything. Yes, yeah, so we should invite Sherman, that's true. Okay, so she's gonna come over. Yeah, Dex taxi button ha had to be priority. Absolutely had to be priority. What else am I calling? Oh, I'm calling Naomi. Invite over. Then I'm gonna call Mr. Sherman. Our, our real true love is Sherman. We know that. We gotta change into our everyday wear too. Gotta make sure our chest is out. For Sherman, <laughs> specifically. There we go. It's a party. We got Comey Tellerman. We got Kyle Gregg. We're going to have Sherman and the girlies. Oh, here comes one of the girlies. Oh, she came right on in. We didn't have to greet her. She just invited herself in. This is, this is, uh... Hobble skirt is probably going to come right on in too. The gang's here. Everyone in the pool. Actually, yeah, let's dive in the pool. I hope this actually isn't going to be an issue here as far as routing. I didn't think about that. <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see. It should be canon that Vincent just never gets Greg's name right. <laughs> it's always Kevin or Kyle. I think at one point I called him George or something. That would be good. And Olive's doing good. She's, she's sleeping on the bed right now. With that new espresso machine for the barista. Oh, that's true. I wonder, because they also mentioned, he also mentioned, I wonder if, um, what is it? Naomi has a home coffee machine. I wondered if we were going to end up gifting it to her, but I'm going to put it, I'm going to replace our other one. Could serve espresso. 
we get everybody hopped up on espresso. Oh, I, that's right. I was going to have him dive in, but I guess I think uh, Kyle, Greg, Kevin got in the way. Are you going to get in, Sherman? Can we see your swimwear, Sherman? Please? Please, Sherman. No. Sherman, are you leaving, Sherman? Where are you going, Sherman? All about Sherman. Okay, so she's here and she's out here. Um, can I like just ch gossip? Oh, I have my thing, so I can't even see the goal. Oh, go swimming is literally the goal. We're gonna dive. Sherman, please. We need we need the Sherman speedo. Is she still shaking? Oh my god, she is still shaking. Look at her go. This poor girly. And her- look at her- like her teeth are coming through her jaw. That happened with another sim in this game. What's going on with the- with the jaws? Is it stopped now? It stopped. Oh my gosh, look at this. She- she's not right. She's not okay. Something's wrong. Oh, look at us. Look at her speedo. Look real close, Sherman. Get a good look. Where did Sherman go? Did Sherman actually leave? Or did he just go around the house? I don't actually see Sherman. I'm afraid that Sherman left us. Also, this girl is just chilling out here. Oh, ask to join. There we go. Oh, not shoe. Is that what I'm supposed to do is ask everybody to join us? Once Vincent is in the pool, I'll click each one of your friends and ask to join. Yeah, let's get everybody in. Cool. That's literally what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> yeah, she was just like chilling out in the dark, not doing anything. I'm guessing they like turned her free will down so she could stand still so I could call her into the pool easily. <laughs> That's what I'm guessing, because there's plenty of stuff on the lot for her to keep busy. Yeah, I know. I don't know where Shermie went. A little Shurry Worry. A little Sherry. He could be Sherry. There we go. Look at us with the, the, with the girlies and Kevin, Kyle, Greg. And we're just swamming. Are we going to go get in the hot tub? Oh, Comey, Comey Tellerman's in the hot tub. Oh, <gasps> it's Sarah. No, Samantha. <laughs> Names. <laughs> Names. It happened in, it happened to Ashley and Riley's story. The teeth, yeah, it was, that was what it was. Okay. This party needs some ambiance. Let's put on some music and dance. Oh, was she screwing with our... Wait, let me pause. Was she screwing with this? She... Is it gonna zap us? She was just screwing with it. Oh, God. We're gonna get zapped. We're gonna get... Something's gonna happen. Samantha's doing everything. Samantha's doing the most. Or oh, is it gonna catch on fire? Uh oh. I can't let a broken stereo ruin a stellar party. Where did I put that fix it hat? Oh man, you're gonna get zappoed. Party needs its groove back. I'll fix that stereo. Oh my god. What do you have for skills? You have two mechanical points. Sir, oh, he's, he's a little busy. He's gotta concentrate. He's gonna get zippy zapped. Oh yeah, and he's wet. He just got out of the freaking pool, man. Oh man. He's gonna die. <laughs> what if this is just where it ends? Yeah, there he goes. There he is. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, he, she literally, literally put a wrench into our plans. Okay. Cool. Need shower. Feeling jolted. Sir, I feel like you might need more than a shower. Also, your shower's broken. You want to put on your fix-it hat for the shower? Possibly. <laughs> the skeleton zap. <laughs> I like the little skeleton that shows. <laughs> yeah. Well, hope you enjoyed. Thanks. That's it. It's done. The Grim, Grim Reaper comes and it's just over. Thanks for playing the game. You won The Sims. Congratulations. Who's still in the pool? Oh, Greg and Greg and Alexa are in the pool still. He he she was the one that he wanted, so. Is she oh she's still shaking in the pool. You can see her little head shaking, her little bun on her head. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. 
He's a sad boy. Gossip? We're gonna gossip uh, un underneath the broken shower head? Wonderful. <laughs> That's true. It blew him out of his speedos into shorts. It somehow grew his shorts, her speedos into shorts. <laughs> How did that happen? Maybe he had him like rolled up under the speedo. He's just so self-conscious. He can't help it. Yeah, and his makeup apparently is tattooed on. I saw Samantha here, Vince. She must have sabotaged your stereo earlier. I wonder what else she's been up to. Samantha must have been the one who put that girl in the park up to flirting with me. I think Greg knows a lot. I think Greg knows more than he realizes. Maybe while Vincent was away, him and Samantha, like Samantha and Greg got it on and they got like a thing right now and they're trying to kill his Vincent for his money or something. That's probably what's going on. Oh. Well, the stereo is still broken. I know. I'll serenade Naomi. Serenade Naomi is kind of a fun little sentence to say. That's a lot better than the stereo. Oh my god, Vincent. This woman doesn't want your attention. Here, let's... Maybe we can call her out. We can serenade her. Do I have to raise our relationship to serenade, or is it already... Oh, it's already an option. This man is having a meltdown. This is not good for him. Also, this is this is a lot. There's a lot happening in this bathroom. <laughs> this is a little cram jammed. Greg is the agora of this playthrough. I think you are correct in that. I think you're very correct. All right, we've got something going on here. Oh, we got a crush happening. It's been fun, but I have a big day tomorrow. I should wind this party down so that I can get some sleep. Oh my. Well, we need to get a kiss in. Can we get a kiss? Propose? Stay the night? Oh my gosh. I guess I can't. How do I... What do I just ask everybody? Ask everyone to leave. Okay. Kevin. Kyle, I need you to go. Say goodbye to everyone. Yeah, I don't know. Apparently that just worked. Like, is his voice really that good? But he's even worse than Agora because he's being a snake in the grass. That's true. At least Agora knew how to give us a good slow poke. <laughs> Kyle doesn't even seem to want to do that. Okay, I guess everybody's leaving. Are we leaving? Are we not leaving? Say goodbye to everyone? Okay, goodbye. Got a little slow poke. <laughs> Bye, Comey Tellerman Heath. Thank you for, for thank you for joining me. Wow, that's a terrible outfit. Oh, is the phone ringing? Did I answer this? Like he, he technically his cell phone's ringing under the water. <laughs> I don't know where he's keeping that cell phone. Give him the old razzle dazzle. Yeah, <laughs> Vincent Riz. He's just, I don't know, he's, maybe he's got a good voice. Maybe that's his thing. It's Sherman. Sherman's calling us. Hey, Vincent. Sherman here. I've obtained evidence that Samantha is trying to push Johnny, push Johnny into a quick wedding. Apparently she wants Bi-Tech as much as she wanted JCN. Okay. Yeah, so it's all about business. And Johnny was that guy that we did see her with at one point. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I want to know where he's keeping that cell phone. He does have some pretty, uh, uh, what do I want to say? Some, some very toned cheeks. We've got another freaking delivery. Oh, the deli I, I swear, somebody got real excited about the delivery function. This man just lets himself in. That's, yes, I like how his lips match the Speedo. He's very, he's a very fashionable boy. Okay, this is quite the picture. Okay, so after that pool party, it's clear I'm all wet when it comes to dating. <laughs> Vincent, don't say that ever again. My stereo exploded, and I got a bad electric shock trying to fix it. Party never recovered after that, even though I had smoke coming off the top of my head. Serenading Naomi was fun, though. I'll have to try something like that again. Okay. 
Yeah, we like honest gold diggers. <laughs> Gosh, he's so angry at her. Oh my goodness, dude. Yeah, she's after like she's not just after money. You know, she's a we can respect a very a very smart girly. Like she's not just after the money. She wants to like you know, make sure she's got an ongoing venture. She needs the business. She knows she's going to blow all that money, and then she's going to have to do it all over again. She wants the whole business. Yeah, it's time for his comfort spaghetti. Oh my gosh. He just, he needs... He needs his comfort spaghetti. <laughs> I think I feel like last time when we played him, it was all the TV dinners, but now he's gotten into this. Uh, oh. Buddy. I assume he's incapable of dying at this point. Like, what if he died of fire? Also, okay, this guy's coming. Vincent. First, you get electrocuted. Yeah, I wonder if Samantha's near the got near the stove. Dun, dun, dun. Now you gotta eat your spaghetti all burnt. Even your comfort spaghetti is not of comfort for you. <sighs> Vincent, how could you do this to me? Alphabetty spaghetti. <laughs> Don't be upset, he eat some spaghetti. Don't be upset, he eat some- Oh my gosh, look at that horrid- That looks like a little volcano or something. I haven't decided if I want to do, uh, the Sims pet stories next, or go right to the castaways next. I think castaways seems very intriguing. Pet stories is a little bit more like this, but with pets involved. <laughs> Although I feel like the I've heard some good things about pet stories. Oh, we're gonna take a shower. We'll take a shower. Castaways was your favorite. Yeah, I've heard castaways is just like so different than the norm, which is fun. Oh, you still play it? Nice. I see people sharing, like, custom content that's, like, made specifically for castaways from time to time, which I think is interesting. That people are, are still really that into it. Oh, you got stuck? The interesting. And I guess that's appropriate for castaways to get stuck, but <laughs> that's unfortunate for the gameplay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've seen that the castaway on console is quite different than PC. I'd probably be interested in trying both. I think for now I'm interested in st trying to stick do the PC ones first before doing the console. Okay, just need to be a bit careful with default mods. I probably with castaways just wouldn't even bother then and just play full vanilla because I don't I don't really need to do any defaults or anything. On console you need separate resources. Interesting. Yeah, and I want to try some of the other console games eventually. I've been given some different advice about which ones to play first, and I gotta look into them and figure out what I am really interested in playing. I've just never really dug into most of them, and I'd like to explore them and just get all the lore and all the everything. Like, I know The Sims 2, I think on PSP, has a ton of lore that it doesn't really exist in the PC games. Okay, and on PC they're lumped together. That's interesting. You'd almost think it would be the other way around, where PC they'd have be able to do a more detail than console or something. Huh. But yeah, I've seen I've seen a little bit of gameplay of the console. I think it would be interesting to to give it a try on both. I wonder how like how much longer Vincent's story is if I'd be able to. I don't know if we're going to finish it today, or if maybe when I- because I, my plan is to stream again on Tuesday like I did um, earlier this week. And I might play this game again instead of doing Sims 3, so we can try and finish this off. Yeah, this is a nice little song going on. But I'd be able to kind of do that. <laughs> I like the dancing bunny vibe one. <laughs> That's funny. And the kitty jam. I gotta come up with a way to do a herb jam or something. I'll have to figure it out. Something that can translate into a little em emote square. That's the real key, is trying to figure out the 
the emote size, something that'll be clear, come across clear. But yeah. Yeah, Tuesday. I kind of liked doing Tuesday. I think what I would like to do is be able to do, um, like, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday for streaming. And I might be close to the end. Yeah, of course, we're only two hours in. I would say probably I'd like to go to three or four hours in length. I went. I was able to get to four hours on Tuesday. I'm confident in my voice holding up. But we'll see. We'll see if we'll be able to blow through his little story and see how it goes. Well, I appreciate that, Christy. <laughs> oh, yeah, the aspiration benefits. I forgot about that. Uh, so, yeah, that's right. We had the story story rewards, which these were from uh, Riley's story. Unfortunately, they're only for this, like, game. Obviously, there's probably c custom content that converts them, but it doesn't seem like they carry over to the main game. But they're, like, items that you're allowed to use in this game to decorate with that you get from the story. I think they're all gifts that you get. And then it looks like Vincent's... Oh, yeah, it looks like there's more to unlock. I bet these are gifts that he's going to get throughout the story. Maybe? Well, this is a random bar, which we haven't been gifted. We just maybe have that. Yeah, there's some stuff locked in. But then, yeah, the aspiration rewards we still have. Those are pretty normal looking. And then, yeah, it looks like this is for a gaming career. I don't know if all of these are exactly the same as the regular game. Oh, he's got the putter. We don't, why don't we own the putter? We need a putter. We're we going to put our putter. Oops, that's a, that's not our putter, that's a chair. I can put, I'll put that up there, and then we'll put our putter over here. This is getting crowded. I probably should sell this, <laughs> but I don't wanna. <laughs> yeah, I don't trust Greg or Samantha. But yeah, it looks like we've got whatever, oh, maybe this is unique, because this was like the entertainment career that Riley was in, which was just like generic, which I didn't recognize it. I don't know if this, this career is unique. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really trust. I don't know. I feel like Greg really is like the, the wolf in sheep's clothing type character right now. Like he's, he's up to something. He's the, he's the inside guy. Also, sir, I'm going to have you go to bed. We can fast forward to the rest of the night. The whole reason you stopped the party was so you could sleep. It's now f almost, it's, well, it's 6 a.m. now. You have to go to school, to work soon? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I hope you can get through it, Christy. Sometimes people can be annoying. <laughs> oh, oh, our helicopter is already here. Yeah, this has got to, like, come together at the end in, like, some kind of, like... Oh, our little mate is here. It's got to come together in some kind of final little explosion or some kind of final little show of something. Of course, we, we know that at this point that Samantha is trying to get good with this Johnny guy, who sounds like maybe he's a competition for Vincent's business. But I'm wondering if, like... Oh, oh Sherman's here. Oh, that's literally the first line. <laughs> Sherman's here. I'll chat with him and find out what's going on. I love this shot with just Sherman being upset. I want a screenshot. I don't know, something about this with the message and just angry Sherman. <laughs> okay. We'll chat with Sherman. Yeah, look, this man makes 250 bucks at work. My goodness. Sherman's such a fashionista. Look at this outfit. It's so good. Perfect. Never change, Sherman. This is Sherman's world and Vincent is living in it. Yes. We're we supposed to just chat. Did I did I successfully chat? Vincent, I've obtained Okay, <laughs> let me try that again. I'm jumbling my word. Vincent, I've obtained objective as evidence which indicates that Samantha has established herself as Persona non grata via interface with your dating 
both Naomi and Alexa. I don't know what that means, Vince Sherman. You gotta give me it in English. Via interface with... Oh, interference, not interface. Okay, yeah, so we've confirmed that there's interference. And she messed with my stereo. Thanks for telling me, Sherman. <laughs> okay. Yes, the Sherman fan club. I want a Sherman. Now, what about what about a? I feel like Sherman is the lost curious brother, like the extra curious brother that that got lost and ended up in Bitville. You get adopted out. Is his name Boggle with an L or an I? Because I hope it, I would love his name to be Boogie <laughs> Sherman Boogie. I wonder what Naomi is up to. I'll give her a call. I think Naomi's innocent in this. I don't think that she's got anything going on, shady going on. Yeah, I, I'm really enjoying Mr. Sherman. I think we, I, w I would like to explore Sherman's storyline. We swap over. Um, Naomi, do I just call? Do we want, do we want to, wait, maybe make sure. Oh, that's right. I can press, press T to bring up your personal menu. I guess I'm supposed to just talk to her. What's go- oh, it's gonna do it automatically. What's going on, Naomi? When can we see each other again? How about tomorrow after I get off work? How does the Bollywood Star Lanes sound? Oh, he nodded his little head. Sounds great, I'll see you there. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the, to the bowling place, I'm guessing. Getting back into Naomi's good graces has been somewhat stressful. I should just hang out at the at home tonight, put on my pajamas, and relax. Okay. <laughs> Let's put on your pajamas. We'll put on his PJs. He boggles the mind. That's true. Sims team couldn't have came up with an uglier name than Sherman Boggle. <laughs> I like it. It's sure sure male. <laughs> well, I bet he is a sure male. I just looked it up on the Sims wiki. <laughs> Not sure mail. <laughs> You've got sure mail. I could go for a few rounds of video gaming. Oh, look at that. We got our friend Shermy here to join us. Because we got the video games over here. I bet Shermy loves a good video game. Ask Sherman to join. A little video game date with his shirt off. Oh, Vincent, you're gonna. This man is just. Are you gonna grab one, Sherman? You gotta, you gotta grab the handle thingy. There you go. You gotta push the buttons to play the game, bud. There we go. Look at these buddies being pals. Buddies being pals, doing good. Dudes being guys. <laughs> yeah, he took off his shirt just for Sherman. Now we need to get Sherman to take off his shirt. Oh, are you are you winning, son? Are you winning? Oh, oh, we stopped. I should practice my romance skills on Sherman. No, <laughs> in the mirror before meeting up with Naomi tomorrow. <laughs> okay. All right, well, Sherman, you, you can enjoy that game by yourself. We're going to go practice kissing in the mirror like a teenager, <laughs> like a child. Fun fact from Sims Wiki, Sherman's turn-ons are underwear and swimwear. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe we'll have to stop. Last time when we finished the story, we um, went out, when we went to the neighborhood view, we checked on... Uh, Agora, because we were just curious about, like, her info and stuff. Maybe after we finish this, we'll have to just stop in and visit Sherman's house and see what he's about, if he has a house in town. I'm assuming he does. It'd be kind of fun just to check him out. I wonder what his house looks like. I bet it's all technology. Yeah, we need to see the home deco. I want to see his personality. Turn-ons and turn-offs, although you just kind of set them anyway, so we know that. But, like, just his info... Yeah, that'd be fun. I enjoy I enjoyed checking out Agora's moment. She had a really cool groovy house. Another delivery? Here's your Eco Mind leather sofa you won on eBay, Simbay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he, this man has a shopping addiction. What is what Oh, we got a Oh, the counter was what they gave us also. I forgot about that. 
at one point we gotta we gotta think okay well see the thing is is this counter matches this like what if i hmm i wish i could like do that but that's obviously causing gonna cause some issues I guess I will just put it out here. We'll replace this one, even though this one actually is nicer looking. That's all right. I guess they want us to replace it. Time for an inter intervention for the Simbe addiction. Oh, we got this fancy couch. Where are we gonna put our fancy couch? Should we just replace one couch? <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> I could just probably copy and paste it if I did this. Oh my God, I can't. Wait, can I buy it though? Oh crap. Well, this is the look. <laughs> this is the vibe. Thanks. Okay, and we guess we finished our goal, so that's good. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, time for an intervention. Put the glass bar in the kitchen under the painting. Oh, oh, let me see. Oh, we got a little. So Samantha's been interfering with my post her with my po interfering with my post her dating days. I wonder if she'll meddle in the date I have with Naomi tomorrow. Samantha isn't doing a very good job of convincing me I made a mistake when I broke up with her. Yeah, that's, that's you know, honestly, buddy, that's the most real thing you've ever said. I think, honestly, I'm afraid to say that Vincent has the best uh, sense so far, I think. Like, he's he's got the best common sense. Um, so the... Put the glass bar in the kitchen under the painting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. This painting. I kind of deleted the other one, but I think I can buy it anyway. I can just put it like that. If the, the door is a little goofy. All right. Technically, I could just do this because they can just pull right out of that. It, technically, it matches. We'll just leave it like that. Maybe then I can put... I'm going to put some stuff up here. We can do that. Anyway, I missed, I missed some things here. Are you going to play pet stories eventually? Yeah, I would like to. I was just saying that I don't know if I want to do pet stories next or if I want to do Castaway next. I don't know what order they came out. I have a feeling that pet stories came next and then Castaway came last. But I don't remember. Oh, that's right. I can probably get it from that unlock item area. I forgot about that. Yeah, you can buy it in the rewards menu. Duh, I forgot. Where is she? There she is. There we go. We got a Mitch match. We got a matching. Okay, is he gonna... Okay, he's taking a shower. I'll have him go to sleep, I guess. Yeah, I don't think it'll... I, well, I'll just leave it like this for now. Um... Yeah, the internet went through phone lines, so you could interrupt the signals when a phone call came through. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I missed some messages here. I'm reading reading back up on chat. Man, I wish people give me gifts all the time. I know. Sims 2 has wonderful thousands techie aesthetics. That's very true. Very true. And yeah, so you couldn't be online if someone was on the phone with dial-up. Yeah, it was all connected. Oh, we we were back out here in the chillin' house. I almost it feels like like Greg should live out here or something. Vincent has gained a point. Like, what's the point of this room other than just being his like little man cave? I guess I don't really know. You gonna go to work today? Oh, he doesn't have to go to work. We're still waiting though. Like, we can't go on the date yet. Oh, yeah. I don't think... My household didn't even have internet for a long time. And I think by the time they got it, it was already, like, um, the more in the direction of the internet we have now. It wasn't quite, like... I don't think we had Wi-Fi. We had, like, Ethernet or whatever. Technically, it would have been. But most of my childhood, we didn't even have internet. Vincent, I'm calling to update you on the status of the SimSat 9000 communication satellite. Currently orbiting overhead. We have realigned the central gyroscopic compressor after minor refractory calculations. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Sherman. That's great, Sherman. Keep me updated on those compressors. That SimSat is going to take G Giganator computer networks 
to the next level. Not the gigolo computer networks. Yeah, it's true. His whole house is literally a man cave. Like, look at this room. Come on. Like, why does he need a man cave? <laughs> oh, you remember what happens? I've never played this before, so I have no clue what happens. I want to find out on my own, though. Oh yeah, you had so you had a little bit of experience with the dial up and <laughs> you won't tell. Okay, thank you. <laughs> no, I haven't had any issues with anybody spoiling anyway, so it's been good. Jay, I appreciate it. Okay, we're just chatting. Oh, we're still chatting with Sherman, our our Mr. Man here. Oh, that's right. Our 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 uh, maid's name is Goopy. I forgot about that. Oh, sir, he just passed out. What? This grown man. Go here. Can you, can you, can you sir? He's, this this, this multi-millionaire grown man has fallen asleep in his doorway. I need you to use, you go to the bath, go, go to sleep. Oh my gosh, I can't even say words. <laughs> yeah, we got, we got our goops emote. I haven't played this in years. I don't remember the stories. Yeah, it's been it's been fun to goof around with, though. I do enjoy the scripted uh, events, especially it's been nice, especially for like stream this the streaming. Uh, what do I want to say? Like the streaming medium <laughs> to, to do through streaming is nice to have like a constantly progressing prompted little storyline happening. Been nice. Who's calling? Oh, it's this lady again. Also, the fact that he has a phone right next to his bed is so annoying. Like, it's not even part of our storyline. That's just a random lady that calls him. Oh, your dog sleeps in the doorway. <laughs> oh, we got it. Naomi should be getting off work right now. I should make my way to S Bollywood Star Lanes. Okay, well, we are an absolute mess. I don't know if they're gonna like help take care of my needs a little bit before I get there. We're just gonna have like a little snack. I assume I can get away with just a little bit of something. But I assume, do I have to, I just have to call enough to keep him from screaming at me the whole time? There we go. Oh, he's making his comfort spaghetti. Sir, I need you to stop for right now. There we go. Um, the Star Lanes. Oh, does he have a fire alarm in his bedroom? Oh, yeah. Maybe because of all this, like, uh, what do I want to say? Like, woven wooden wallpaper. He was worried. And his bed is all, like, wicker. <laughs> it's very interesting. Or maybe he just thinks he's so freaking hot. <laughs> that he's he needs he needs to prepare. You know, the bedroom is a hot place. Have you played with a custom neighborhood? Uh, I had I, I don't think I have yet. I've seen it. And I think that's kind of cool because they they were able to make like scripted events like the regular pre-made hoods, which is cool. I'd love to be able to explore some of the custom hoods like that. I feel like that would also be a fun thing to bring to stream eventually. Is like doing some kind of like exploring of hoods and things like that, checking out different places. I don't know if I'd do a full rotational playthrough. I mean, I probably would eventually. I've always wanted to get into like the ones where they make, um, they make like the early version of Strange Strange Town, like before the the, you know, like cer a certain amount of years in the past or whatever. I think that's fun. So you get to play like the ancestors. I think that's really cool. Uh, fun fact about dogs. I heard that dogs don't understand what humans make mistakes. So if you accidentally trip over your dog, you have to profusely apologize because they will think you woke up in the middle of the night to kick them in the head. <laughs> oh gosh, supposedly. Doing custom hoods would be cool. Yeah, I think it would be just like a fun little way to different to kind of, yeah, and like with like early Strange Town or Strange, uh, I think they've also got an early Pleasant View. Somebody has a has one. Um, but the... I don't know, it's like, it's still the pre-maids, which are, are like, my personal current, like, interest in The Sims 2 is the pre-maids. Like, I love the, the iconic characters, but the being able to then 
play like those slightly earlier ancestors that you never really got to play. Oh yeah, I think I've tried, I don't know, I think I've downloaded Planet Eladies. I think I watched her play it, Mardicore. I'm pretty sure I have watched a little bit of her playing it. Oh yeah, maybe maybe I could try it out because of the whole little scripted events and stuff. Yeah, that could be cool. I'll have to think about it. I'll have to make out like a list of different different ones I want to play. Naomi seems to be up on current events. Oh, we should talk. Share interests. How do we feel about Naomi's outfit? Because I'm not extremely impressed. <laughs> I, I can't say I'm like in love. We got the belly button sticking out. The little like micro belt. And then the floor length denim like hobble skirt. I don't know how I feel. Yeah, it's an outfit that exists. Hmm. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, it looks like she's gonna fall over. Although it seems very elasticy when she walks. Like, obviously, that's just part of the game. But, it, like, you could imagine it's, like, stretchy material, which almost makes it worse. Like, it, that means it's clinging to you and stuff. The shirt is not... I'm not really for... Yeah, <laughs> the skirt's interesting. It's kind of, like... The skirt is a little bit like Mormon core <laughs> or something. <laughs> the jert, not the jert. Oh no, I'm missing pop-ups. You sure do. That reminds me. Did you ever find your lost phone number? Oh, I, oh that's right. His, his, oh, that took me a second. His, um, his first cat pickup line for her was like, I lost my phone number. Can I have yours? That was, that was the thing. I never seem to get tired of coffee. I would like to have one right now. Mormon core. <laughs> it's exa it's, it is. <laughs> Although the midriff isn't. Like, she needs to tuck that in if she's gonna go full Mormon core. Because even, like, the hair, like, either that or she's, like, the next wife on that Sister Wives show or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, she's somebody. A spicy Mormon. She's like the, cause there's like, then there's like the, the Amish and then there's the, the next step. Like they're the kind of like more modern Amish. I forget their, what they call them. They're like a little bit, little, like the spicy Amish. <laughs> She's like one of those guys. Naomi, I know you're pretty good at my Shuno, but do you think you can handle my dart skills? Handle your skills? I work here. You're going down, Vincent. Oh, is there a dartboard here? Oh yeah. Well, play darts. Mennonite, yes, that's it. Mennonite. I, I remembered the M like Mormon. <laughs> that skirt would be cute without it being denim. Or if it was denim, maybe knee length. Yeah. And the shoes. Yeah, the shoes are also a choice with the... Do we think these... I think these might be... I wonder if these are little boots under here? Or they just... They kind of almost look... They almost have like a little cowboy boot shape. Not in the front, though. I don't know. He's got like the little cowboy boots going on. Well, I appreciate it for its for its Sims 2 uh, style. <laughs> oh yeah, did I ask her to join? Oh, she automatically joined. There we go. Lost my number. Can I have yours? Mennonite does sell like a Pokemon. <laughs> Are we okay? We're just we're just chilling. We're enjoying ourselves. I've been I've been enjoying the little dates though. All the oh, excuse me, Vincent. Please stop. We don't need your germs spreading all over the place. <laughs> Sorry, Vincent. You didn't have a chance. Oh, this girl is amazing. She can beat my ass at darts. I wonder what else she can beat me at. I'm definitely fa falling for her. I want to take it slow, though. Perhaps we should cuddle a little on one of these sofas. <laughs> I don't think that's taking it slow, Vincent. I think that's being weird on a public sofa. Let's sit on down. Yeah, these dates are better than Riley's. I feel like he at least isn't... I don't know, Riley was just a little bit... too ditzy about the boys. Whereas this guy... Vincent is seems a little bit more on top of on top of it a little bit. 
Okay, cuddle. Is she, she's going to let us cuddle right away, is she? Or do I have to work her up to it? We are on... Oh, we, we lost our crush. We had... I thought we had crush. Oh, well, speak of... Speak of the devil. There it is. Oh, yeah, maybe that's... That, mean, that makes sense if Riley was a lot younger than Vincent. That makes... I like this little little freeze frame we got here <laughs> things are going so well i think i should try for my first kiss with naomi not here though maybe out back in the nice patio area there's a lot more privacy there okay <laughs> but i want to i want to make sure to kiss back here next to heath comey tellerman i gotta call her over find a good spot to kiss naomi can i I walk him out here into the dirt. Does she want to kiss us in the dirt? Yeah, first kiss by the barbecue. Who the heck? Oh my god, I thought that was Samantha. Oh, she's following us. Ooh. Kiss, first kiss. Are we gonna get a cutscene? Yes, the, oh, we are getting a cutscene. Hopefully it's not too loud. Sometimes the cutscenes are annoyingly loud. Doesn't seem like it's too bad. <laughs> Yeah, I saw somebody mention Riley might be 18. That's true. The scene, the trees in the background of the scene are kind of nice. Oh yeah, maybe her age wasn't really confirmed. There we go. Vincent got his kiss. Thanks for a wonderful time, Vincent. I had this sitting in my closet. It's a boombox to replace that stereo that broke at the party. Now you owe me another party, but with fewer guests. Call me soon. Oh my. Are we gonna friggin' marry Naomi and have to have a baby with her? <laughs> Is that what's gonna happen? Like we did with friggin' Riley. Yeah, he's hungry. We gotta go home and make some comfort spaghetti. Emotional support spaghetti. Emotional sport spaghetti. Yeah, I wonder if she liked uh, the red lipstick transfer. <laughs> she got a little red lip. Now she's going to get in their car, look in the mirror and say, wait a minute, I didn't put on red lipstick. <laughs> Naomi has Riz. <laughs> yeah, what would the baby names like? Because we with Riley and Mickey, we we smashed them together. This is quite a shot going through the building. I'm just going to let it happen. Um, Because it because let's see. So Naomi and Vincent. Yeah, veil, veil me, <laughs> Nincent. That's quite the veon, veosent. <laughs> I don't know. N nimmy, <laughs> nimmy. Nine cents. I like that. No, I like nine cents. <laughs> that sounds like back when I when I would just play on my own, doing like hundred baby challenges in The Sims Two. I'd name them all stupid names like. Five dollar bill and chicken salad and whatever the heck was on my desk at the time. I had a great time with Naomi tonight. Although the next time she asks me to play a game with her, I should probably just say you win and save myself some trouble. My consolation cuddle session with her on the couches made up for the blow to my ego. But it was that kiss that really knocked me off my feet. Wow, I really hoped I get to see her again soon. That was really wonderful. Naomi gave me her boom box. Oh yeah, we gotta replace our broken stereo. Which technically we could still repair, but I guess we're just gonna be awful and just delete it and throw it in the landfill. Ooh, this is... Oh, it's little! It's tiny! Naomi, we're a big boy. We need big boy things. Let me, let me do like this. <laughs> hey, we get a fancy little thingy. There we go. Yeah, he would, I mean, like we said, this this man is kind of a little bit reminiscent of Elon Musk. So, like, what could we expect him to name his child? <laughs> he would name it after one of the stupid things, technologies he works on. The yeah, name name Jim Vincent's job or a satellite after. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> the baby boogie after Sherman. <laughs> that would be good. 
I'm so glad our Vincent doesn't look like that Vincent anymore. <laughs> He's grown so much. Yeah, that's true. Our Vincent's so much better. So, so much better. Well, I'm disappointed by how how little that spaghetti fills him up. I think you gotta make like a big spaghetti meal, buddy. I'm just gonna fast forward and let him do that. Yeah, see, he'd have all those the freaking absurd names and stuff. <laughs> he'd probably name the baby. Oh no. Boogie Moore. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> See, you could use the last name Boogie for all kinds of goofy names. Wait, did he not? Oh, he. I guess he must have eaten some because his hunger went up. Can we put away leftovers? Ooh, there's not a leftovers option in this game and they went bad. Oh my god, not the comfort spaghetti. Our emotional support spaghetti went bad. Don Moore. <laughs> Are you okay? I think does he he doesn't have to work today, does he? No. Yeah, you gotta here. We're gonna try to get him to re to replace this, or I guess I could have him. He's a rich guy who doesn't know how to do anything for himself. He's gonna hire a repair man. Yes, there we go. What does he want to do? He wants a creativity level. I'll let him play his guitar for a little while. I'll let him do that. He's gonna we'll wait until whatever whatever else we gotta do pops up. Yeah, the, the name's telling you to dance more, boogie more. <laughs> I do really like like boogie more. That'd be good. It's funny. Yeah, I don't know. I hope we don't have to wait for like somebody to have a baby. Like I'm not in the mood. I like I like just kind of. Cruising through the storyline. Yeah, if we have a baby, we gotta name it Boogie Moore. <laughs> He's really getting at it. Oh, the repairman. I was like, who's in our house? It's a repairman. Thank you, sir. Now, if only our maid would show up to clean it. Oh, look at that. There's Goopy now. Very good. Oh yeah, Donatello more. <laughs> like Donatello Fazacci. Vincent seems like he's so rich, where rich people tend to name their children absurd names the poor children. <laughs> yeah, he seems like he'd... Um, yeah, he seems like he would name them some weird stupid name that is like, he thinks he's better than the rest of society, so he's got to come up with his own unique crap. <laughs> And Boogie Moore is very on brand with The Sims. <laughs> yeah, the bur burrito babies can be fun in the in The Sims Three. They're at least kind of contained <laughs> to a degree. <laughs> I know that there's a lot of people who criticized them when they first came out, especially compared to The Sims Two babies, which have a little bit more going on with their like arms and legs moving and stuff. They can play in the little toys and everything. Alright, I don't know what we're... We're just kind of chilling. I guess maybe we're waiting for it to get night or something so we can invite her over. <laughs> Your mind thinks like the Sibs 2 devs. You just find it funny that evil Sims 3 Sims can steal candy from those burrito babies. Yes, that's true. They're hiding all kinds of candy. Oh, there we go. We got a little thing. They're hiding all their candy in their burritos. Yesterday's date was nice. I should try for a repeat performance. I'll invite Naomi over. All right. Well, I'll let you make your sketty, but we're going to call her over. You keep leaving your phone over here, which is kind of obnoxious. I'm just inviting her over, right? There we go. Invite over. Okay, he's gonna- oh, I thought he- oh, you should have made a group meal. So Naomi- oh, Naomi's already here. 
Buddy old pal, you gotta you gotta woof down the skeddy. Oh oh no, I exited out. I'm ruining everything. There we go. That is a very cute little froggy. I like it when you mouse over it, gets it makes it big. It's really cute. Oop. Okay, they had a very nice little moment. This hasn't oh there we go. Let's say that didn't like Okay, we're gonna chat. Your interest? Is there anything in particular? That was Naomi to discuss where you'll be spending this lovely evening. I wonder if Naomi would like to go somewhere fancy. Look at this miss. Is this? Am I crazy? <laughs> Look at this misspelling of somewhere. <laughs> Somebody didn't double check things. I'll chat with her for a bit and find out. Oh, you got it! Oh, you got him from an Etsy artist. I've seen lots of posts on Etsy for uh, really cute little emote sets. Yeah, he got the emotional spaghetti and prep prep for his date. What are you talking about? Oh, I guess I think I'm actually supposed to literally chat. I'm I'm not good at this game. <laughs> I'm bad at the video game. There we go. Naomi, I'd like to take you somewhere special. We can go anywhere you want. Well. You know what sounds really special? Just staying in and eating together. Just you and I. Do you have anything you like to cook? Oh, Naomi. Eat. Have you ever heard of this wonderful... <laughs> Literally, it was, it's been, it has been a while, but I may be, it might be time for some of my famous spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> this game even knows what it's done. This game knows exactly what it's done. It's been a while. He just barely ate some, and he's ready for more. <laughs> he's ready for more. We gotta make some sketty. There we go. Come on right up. Dun dun dun. <laughs> he's a whiz at spaghetti. Yeah, he's been. He's. This is a, literally the whole game has been foreshadowing this moment, the the spaghetti moment. She's she's eagerly awaiting the sketty. There you go. Eat your sketty. She gonna grab a plate? Oh, that smells just right. Let's dig in, ma'am. I got one on the table for you. You gonna eat it? What you doing? She's not. Call to meal guests. There we go. There we go. She's getting it. She's getting the hang of it. Very nice. You think she? Do you think she's it? What if? What if? What if she hates the spaghetti? Yeah, I know. <laughs> He's literally licked his previous plate of spaghetti clean. She, she'll never know I already ate spaghetti. I licked it clean. This state is nice, but it would be a lot nicer if we were in the hot tub. But if you, if you, you gotta finish your spaghetti. Can't leave any spaghetti. Look at this little. I love this little like icon. It's like an arrow pointing, and there's just like a little character T posing in the hot tub. That's really fun. <laughs> I appreciate that. Like some bad YouTube thumbnail where they just slap a, a arrow on it. Oh, he's gonna go to the bathroom really bad. I'm gonna let him do that. Then we'll have him get in. Then we'll invite her. Ask to join. There we go. And yeah, the art videos, Christy. Sorry, I just saw your message. Yeah, I probably will eventually. I just haven't really been in the mood to do art stuff. But I thought eventually I'll, I'll do something. We are we just chilling? Are we supposed to do? We're not really supposed to cuddle. But I guess we're just chatting. He's he's showing her how how long lasting his lipstick is. He can even dive in the hot tub. That first kiss knocked me off my feet. I think we should try that again and again and again and again. Okay, buddy. Let's get to it. Thank you very much for the follow, Lucia. 
Thank you very much. Welcome in. I think I've definitely, I, before I started, I looked and I think I was at like 98 followers. So I think I'm definitely over a hundred now, which is kind of fun. It's pretty neat. Hello, Lucia. Welcome in. Oh my gosh, she's making funky little noises. You got a kiss tender? Does it say specific type of kiss? Oh, they want us to make out. So we got to like work our way up. Am I just going to have to spam some kisses? Yes. So we got 107. Oh my goodness. Very nice. Oh yeah, I'm glad you could stop by. Yeah, the Saturday, the Saturday day seems to be working out pretty well so far. I feel like there's a lot of folks that have stopped in saying they've been able to finally catch us. Oh, there we go. We got make out. That'd be, that'd be cool. I definitely like the Saturday day. I'm glad that the 6 p.m. start kind of worked out for me. Usually it's a little bit noisy. <laughs> my, my environment is not quiet enough until a little bit later, but it seems to be have worked out. There we go. So we got our making out. Oh, he wants to woohoo with her. Can they woohoo in the hot tub? I don't know if they can woohoo yet. I'm sure that's going to be part of the storyline. Oh, receive package. Damn, Riley's going to give us her package. Oh, my gosh. We thought it was the other way around. This is Vincent. After I left the bowling alley, I met this strange lady who said she needed some bus fare to get back to Sim City. So I bought this really amazing mask from her. I thought it would look great hanging above your bar. So I want you to have it. Oh, oh my. Oh, did I say Riley? Oops. <laughs> Good night, Vincent. I've had a wonderful evening. That was quite a story. What did she give us? Jack, Jack. We didn't get to woohoo with her. Oh my gosh. Afro Aztec. This looks like it's made to go right here. Oh, our our wonderful fire alarm is in the way. How about we put our wonderful fire alarm above the bed? Look at that. That looks like it um should not have been stolen by a white person. <laughs> that looks like it should be where it belongs and not on our wall. Oh wow, it's Sunday here. <laughs> Yikes, or there I should say. Not. So it must be it's so so late that it's early. Uh, chapter nine. Now that was a date. I really think there's something to Naomi and me, and I really hope she feels the same way. I'm wondering if Samantha is going to go ballistic or if she's keeping herself distracted with Johnny Cullen. Oh, that's right. Cullen, he's a vampire boy. <laughs> I'm sure I'll find out the worst possible time at the worst possible time. That looks like it should be returned to the culture it was, it was appropriated from. Yes, <laughs> that looks like, uh, yeah, that looks like it either should should be in a museum or where it wherever it really is supposed to be. <laughs> OK, we're having a nice little shower. I guess we'll go to sleep probably in a second here. Let him go zip zap through the night. Oh boy, I don't know. I wonder I wonder what our next step is going to be. Naomi is definitely the one for me. Sometime soon, I'm going to have to confront Samantha and make sure she knows to leave me alone. Okay, so we're, we're moving to, we're hurtling towards a confrontation. Yeah, it looks like it would be, <laughs> that's true. It looks like it would be in a U.S. museum or something. And he wants to win. Oh my gosh, I thought he was eating another spaghetti. I'm cleaning everything up. Oh my gosh, he's having a meltdown in fast forward Woo! mode. Oh, he has the day off again. Very good. Look at this happy little man's doing his happy little thing. Let's putt. Yeah, Vincent needs to put his foot down with Samantha. Oh, I must go now. Hope the rest of the stream goes well. Yeah, thank you so much for stopping by, Meebles. It's always fun having you in chat. It'll be, it'll be nice. Um, hope you have a nice night and everything. Rest of your night or morning or wherever, whatever time it is there. <laughs> Can you, can you actually putt, sir? Are you actually able to putt? Oh, 
Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like my mask? It raises the dead. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. It seems like somebody had a real strong interest in the tribal masks in this. I think in The Sims 2, there's quite a few different masks that I barely ever use. I think only recently I started using them in Veronaville because some of them like look like they fit the Veronaville, like some kind of weird masquerade thing or something. I don't know why there's so many. I think there were there were a lot in The Sims 1, uh, like Old Town, which I think was part of the Unleashed expansion, if I remember correctly. And I think it was just kind of part of like that, the theme. It's got a um, I can't think of the exact name of the of the theme, but it, yeah. Oh, the tribal theme was big in the two thousands. Okay. Yeah, I'm guessing that's kind of where it all all came from. But yeah, it's interesting how they show up so much. And I definitely don't really see them in The Sims Three at all. I don't think. Yeah, I wonder how they decided on what themes. They must have had somebody sit down and just write out some, like, sketch out some sets and, like, some ideas. And maybe they got, you know, they probably looked at, like, popular decor magazines at the time or something. You know, and, and tried to sort out a few things. But, you know, obviously you'd, you'd think that all of their personal tastes would still affect the choices they made to a certain degree. Where they decide they really want... You know something funkier than this or that or whatever yeah it'd be kind of interesting to see some of that early planning i know every once in a while you, the people share like little beta beta pictures or little sketches and things <laughs> yeah and where the whole llama theme that one's interesting because i don't think llamas really came up much in the sims 1. i feel like they really came through in the sims 2. They don't really know like w like why maybe it was just one of those things one of those things where they happen to make like the a random, you know, llama mascot for the sports. One of the sports things, and then they just ran with it, and they just kept trying to use themes when they made, like, the university pack. They put a bunch of more llama stuff in for the school teams and stuff, and then also the cows, and yeah, I wonder. It's kind of interesting. Maybe somebody just really liked llamas. Yeah, the grilled cheese. I love the grilled cheese themes. Somebody just really liked grilled cheese, which I can appreciate. Grilled cheese is very good. <laughs> I like a good grilled cheese moment. I enjoy the grilled cheese theme. The fact that there's an entire grilled cheese aspiration is great. I never really play with it, but it's it's fun to fun to know it exists. <laughs> now this is this is really riveting content, buddy. <laughs> yes, I love a good grilled cheese with with like uh, tomato soup and stuff. That's very good. And a nice bread. You gotta get in like a nice thick bread. <laughs> well, that's interesting, giving Laszlo a secondary grilled cheese. <laughs> yeah, maybe someone in the development team did have like a llama special interest. Maybe they grew up on a llama farm. Oh, we got a, we got a phone ring ringing. I can use my 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 fancy little cell phone. This is the the modern day. We have a little we have a little flip phone. Look at Vincent in his pretty little makeup. He's got a little eyeliner on. <laughs> oh, I bet garlic bread grilled cheese is pretty good too. Yes, I've I've actually heard of the difference between grilled cheese toasty and grilled cheese. I think I, I've heard about the two differences. That's uh, kind of interesting. Oh, you have several grilled cheese sims in your game. That's fun. Oh, uh, yeah, I bet they are easy to keep happy. I, I whenever I think of grilled cheese sim, I think of the one. There's that one pre-made in one of the one of the pre-made hoods. That's a grilled cheese sim. I forget her name, but. I think I'm, I'm, I really want to play some of those other pre-made hoods rotationally eventually and explore those sims. I think that's kind of be fun to mess around with. Yeah, I don't, I can't remember exactly what the difference is. Oh, you like the, you like the fire pit icon? <laughs> yeah, I like using random objects. But I guess, isn't, is the cheese toasty? It's like open topped. Like they just, it's like a piece of bread with cheese on the top it's not like two slices or something or am i wrong about that yeah so, oh i like macaroni and cheese more i don't really get too much into macaroni and cheese 
Um, unless it's like a really good homemade macaroni and cheese. Because River, River Blossom Hills does, does it seem like the most fun. Yeah. I'm really intrigued to try and play Belladonna Cove rotationally as well. I think that one's very interesting. I feel like I could get creative with The Sims, though, even if they're kind of boring, like try to come up with something interesting for them. Kind of in the way that I have managed to make Herb Oldie somehow interesting. I, I, I made Herb Oldie main, main character material somehow. Do I have some hope for some of the other Sims? <laughs> Belladonna Cove, yeah, they seem fun. Oh, that's right, because they have like the knockoff Angela and Lilith that are kind of like witchy a little bit, and they live in a house that's like identical floor plan to the Pleasant House. She's toasty usually. Toasted bread and slices on the inside. Not sh I'm not sure that's what I would assume, but I don't have it very often. Oh. She's toasty. Interesting. Huh. Because, yeah, because I, I mean, technically, grilled cheese is short for grilled cheese sandwich. Like, that's the actual name. You have, have to have the sandwich at the end, but most people just say grilled cheese. Oh yeah, maybe cheese toasty is like you put it on a... I feel like I've seen pictures where it's kind of grilled almost the same as a grilled cheese sandwich is. Oh, interesting. It's, so they're made in like a specific little press. Huh. That's interesting, because like when I make a grilled cheese sandwich, I usually just like put it on a little pan on the oven. Look at the hiccups. What are we doing, buddy? I'm just kind of letting you run wild here. We're kind of, it's, it's kind of quiet right now. Are you going to make yourself some scatty? Yeah, he's going to make himself some scatty. Very good. Predictable. Oh, he's going to make himself some espresso. I'm going to actually have you just go to sleep so you can uh, fast forward to the next day, sir. Oh, <laughs> he tried to cure my hiccups. Um, I usually would put butter on the outside, yeah, for a grilled cheese. But I feel like it helps, it helps it, like, it kind of oil the pan almost, in a way. Sometimes I just put the butter into the pan first before I put the sandwich in, too. Oh, you'd like, you might like grilled cheeses more if you cooked them in a press, that's interesting. I don't know if, I don't know if I've ever really used, like, a press thing. I feel like when I think of a press, I think of like a waffle. Okay, so we're gonna... Are we gonna go ahead to, oh, to work? Oh, yeah, I guess we're going off to work. I just, I don't know when our next scripted event is. Maybe after we come home from work? I'll just let him cruise on by. Let him go off to work. Oh, mayonnaise in a... Like mayonnaise in a grilled cheese? That's interesting. Yeah, the butter does give like an extra crispiness to it, definitely. Um, I think that maybe where it's different to the cheese toasty, because I don't think they put butter on the outside. Ah, oh, interesting. New Zealand toasties are pretty much at, at pretty much every ca cafe. Oh yeah, they're super popular here. Interesting. New Zealand sounds like a really nice place. I would love to visit New Zealand sometime. You're gonna go to the bathroom, broski. Oh, mayonnaise on the outside instead of butter. Ooh, I don't know how I'd feel about that. Oh, there's some doggy shaking. Why are you shaking? You should have taken off your collar so you wouldn't make noise when you did that. <laughs> She's making her, her jingle jangle noises in the background. I don't know if she's going to ask to go out and go potty in a little bit. She might. Seems okay right now. Are you... Do you want to take a shower, dude? Yeah, she did the big shake. She just woke up from a big sleep. She's got to do her big shake. Usually I take off her collar at night, but I forgot to. Now she's making noise. <laughs> yeah, I've heard some really nice, nice things about New Zealand. Oh, okay. We gotta ever get that feeling that you should check your email? I just did. Oh, God. Go check your email, dude. Uh, check email. Trying to silence the doggo. Silencing the olive. 
Thank you very much for the follow. What's a dream awake? Thank you very much. Welcome in. I lived a year on New Zealand. It's so beautiful. Looks like some sort of AI generated paradise. Cool. That sounds neat. <laughs> Oh yeah, and also I've heard that's where they filmed um, the, the Lord of the Rings movies, yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, welcome in. And I'm very good. I hope you're doing well. We're having a fun time with our little uh, scripted adventures here. Okay, so it looks like we've got an email from Sherman. I've fortuitously overheard... Oh, we got some more doggy shaking. Puppy. We might have to do a BRB in a moment after we read Sherman's email for, for a doggy break. Uh, so let's see. I fortuitously overheard a tete a tete in which certain cognoscenti discussed a connubial, <laughs> connubial union between Samantha and Johnny. Yes, the two are actually, as Greg would phrase it, phrase it trying to tie the knot. Sherman. Oh my. Okay. Sherman's Sherman's writing is a little hard to digest sometimes and gonna go be honest with you. I love the man, <laughs> but he's a little hard to 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 read. Samantha's getting married so soon and to my chief competitor. I should invite her over and make sure that she's not doing this to get under my skin. Buddy, if why do you care <laughs> in some way? Like Shouldn't you just let her go and go get rich with some other dude and not give a crap? Like, why do you need to know if she's doing it to get under your skin? That, se that seems like you're, she's living in your head rent-free behavior. <laughs> I, I do love Sherman. I love that Vincent accepts him for who he is and doesn't complain. I have a feeling that Vincent mainly accepts him for who he is. Maybe because they're old friends, but also because he's some kind of like brains behind whatever technologies company he's got going on. So he knows all his uh, smart rambling equals money equals dollar signs for him. I feel like that's part of it a little bit. <laughs> all right, buddy, old pal. Okay, I think I'm going to do a BRB. We have been going for three hours anyway, but we'll probably go for maybe another hour. We'll see how we go, if we're getting close to the end here or not, depending. But I think I'm going to do a little BRB. We'll get to see the, the Herb BRB screen. And I've made sure to uh, turn off the ads <laughs> on, the, on the YouTubes. <laughs> so we should actually get music this time. So, yeah. I'll be right back. And my, oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello. I'm talking and my mic's muted. My goodness. This is a mess. This is a mess. Oh my goodness. They, I, I took out my beer, my uh, Bluetooth little earphone that I use. And it paused the music. I didn't think about... <laughs> I'm gonna get this BRB screen correct one of these days, I promise. <laughs> Jeez, I'm crow. Jeez, I'm crow. I'm, check I'm catching up on the little chats. Okay, you played played your own music. That's what it, It's a bring your own music BRB screen. Instead of like bring your own booze, it's bring your own music. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll, I guess we'll play here. There we go. Guess we're, guess we're back up and running. But yes, welcome back if you took a little break yourself. <laughs> Bring your own music to the BRB screen. You cannot expect me to provide music for you, obviously. Obviously. Okay, so I do actually have an objective currently, which is to call Samantha. Who is the? I didn't see her show up. When did you get here, lady? 
You just heard a weird scream. Was it her? I guess it was her screaming at the... Uh, this guy keeps putting his phone everywhere. You gotta put... Just might as well put this thing in your pocket, bud. Actually, I forgot he has his cell phone. I can just click on him. Okay, so we're calling this evil Samantha lady. Right over. Yeah, she's kind of a stalker at this point. This, this... I don't really have anything better to do. I'll be over soon. Ay ay ay. Look at this fashion. This is fashion. Oh my goodness. High fashion. High fashion. Where did the chick who was here? Oh my god, this lady loves to be naked in her hot tub, dude. Oh. I hope I'm not making a mistake by inviting her over here. Oh my gosh. Where am I zooming into? He's worrying about her. I mean, not about her, but like about the situation. Here she comes. Oh my gosh. I feel like this is the big finish or something. You already had your chance with me, Vincent. What do you want? Uh oh, they're having a moment. The only way to say it is just get it out. Okay, I thought he was saying get out. Like, she, he just invited her here and wants her to leave. But no, he wants to. He's got something to get off his chest. Okay, I have to. Uh, Ma'am, no, I need to chat to you. We're not getting. No, we're not having a hot tub party. Holy crap. Somebody's calling. Can I call over? Oh my gosh. No, get out. <laughs> Go here. I'm gonna see if I can call her out. He's he's hot. he thinks she's hot though. How do I? Okay, just chat. I still chat with her. Everybody's shocked by this naked lady who just she does not care. Teens have better fashion than adults in The Sims 2. It's very true. Yeah, I'm afraid Naomi's gonna see this. Okay, we're, are we chatting now? What are we doing? The phone's ringing, it's annoying. <laughs> okay, what are we- what are we talking about? Ah, uh, what's this? Samantha, congratulations on your engagement! I hope you and Johnny work out. I just want to make sure this isn't something you're tr doing to try to hurt me. That sounds so, like... I mean, we know that she's, like, a bad person who's trying to t pull something over on him. Like, at the same time, it feels kind of weird. <laughs> like, that he's needs to know in some way. I don't know. It, like, feels kind of weird. You were never capable of making your own decisions, Vince. You think you can just brush me off to go for a poor barista? You're clueless. Yeah, and she could use that against him. Like, how how much do you... You you must care so much about me if you want to know what I'm up to. Isn't his exactly act like the main character in Samantha's life? Yes, that's a good way to put it. That's a very good way to put it. Uh-oh. What just happened? Why did I just zoom out like this? Why me? What? That's it. She's out of here. Okay. Do I just ask her to leave? Ask Samantha to leave. Uh, let's see everyone so we can get the naked lady out of our freaking hot tub. <laughs> I don't want you here, ma'am. Samantha, I've tried being nice, but I'm not going to let you talk about Naomi that way. She's not poor. She's humble. <laughs> I think you should leave now. You're kicking me out? For that coffee jockey? Oh no, you did not just say that. The drama. I'll show you, you big jerk. No one treats Samantha Hayden like this and gets away with it. Samantha, what are you doing? Oh, you want to wash your hands with me? Do you? Wash this. Oh god. She's having a freak out. She's having a meltdown. Watch her just, just pees herself right there. Watch this. <laughs> what's she gonna do? I'm afraid she- what's she gonna do? Uh-oh.
Uh oh. She's breaking our sink. This is what I was thinking. Is she gonna pee on the floor? But no, okay. Well, you're, you're, that's, I, I, that's not necessarily dirty. Samantha, get out, get, <laughs> Samantha, what's wrong with you? Get out of my house now or I'm calling the police. This chickie's kooky. If you want to bring the heat, I brought some matches. Oh God. <laughs> what's she doing now? Oh, oh, not our beautiful pool table. Oh my God. What's going on? How did she do that? She just like, she was just a witch. Oh my gosh. Well, if we wait long enough, the puddle from the sink is going to make it to the pool table. <laughs> oh my God. Is that the only fire? I thought it was going to be in here because they put a friggin' thing in one of these things in here. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness. What is it? Thank goodness that's over. Samantha is a walking disaster, but at least she's gone for good and I don't have to be reminded of her anymore. Oh my gosh. That was chaotic. How do you... Now, I'd like to know exactly what about this situation made you think you're done with her. Like, she's she's a psycho chick, yes. And she's like... She got pissed off that you told her to leave. <laughs> And she did this. Now, what exactly made you think that she's not going to come back and do more or try to keep screwing with you? We have another freaking delivery. Yeah, I don't think she's ever going to let go. Whoa, there must have been a brutal party in here. <laughs> Dude, you must have a great girlfriend. She bought all this great stuff for you. Has it been her that's buying all this crap all along? There's, what is this, this, this zoom in shot? <laughs> Just <laughs> Vincent's nipples in a broken sh friggin sink. <laughs> this is this a wild moment in this, in this unpainted wall. Okay. There's a note attached to the guitar. Dear Vince, I love you forever and ever. After meeting you, I'll never be able to think about another guy again. You really ground me and keep me sane. I'm so glad I'm going to be your wife. I can't wait to hear you play some sweet music for me on this guitar. It plugs right into the stereo. Love you, sweetie. XOXO, Samantha. I'm guessing this package was a little delayed. Just a little bit so delayed. Oh, hello there, Kara. Welcome in. Yeah, we're, we're in the midst of the chaos here. <laughs> there's, there's a lot going on. She's not my girlfriend anymore. How did she go from being so nice to starting fires in my house? <laughs> that's a that's a really important question to ask yourself, Vincent. Can you actually try to repair this? Oh no, <laughs> this shot. That didn't go so well. But what was I expecting, really? It's odd that she seems so into Johnny, and yet she's trying so hard to get back at me. I wonder what Johnny thinks of this. Or does he even think about it at all? Interesting. Interesting. So, yeah, we haven't really seen much of Johnny up here. Yeah, a question we've all asked in our lives at some point. Yeah, she has a very funny way of showing her love. You ground me and keep me sane. <laughs> yeah, that's the... Uh, I don't know about the sane part. Yeah, love bombed. Maybe the fire alarm in the bedroom was for his, this scene with Samantha. Yeah, I, I thought that that was like... Is it a rand I s is it a random object that catches fire or is it always the pool table? That'd be interesting to know. I assume it's probably the pool table. Okay, you are useless, sir. Call a repairman. Jeez him crow. Ay ay ay. He's probably not gonna show up till tomorrow. Also, this chick is still here. Uh, yeah. Come on by, buddy. We're gonna say goodbye to this lady and go to bed. <laughs> We're gonna pretend this never happened. We're just gonna pretend it never even happened. There we go. Okay, she finally left. We're gonna see how big this puddle gets overnight. <laughs> that scene of her breaking the sink and us getting zoomed to Vincent scolding her from another building and Aaron just playing the guitar. Yeah, that was cool. That was a, that whole moment was a lot. There was a lot going on. Every time I catch this little tiki lamp out of the corner of my eye, I think something's on fire because I just see like the flame like over the wall and I get worried that she's here again. Oh, he's awake. He's going to play on his charred pool table. 
I'm just gonna let the time zoom on by until we... Uh, oh, here carpool's gonna be coming too. Oof. He's really happy with how... I mean, unhappy with how dirty it is. Okay. Time to go to work, buddy. Hop in your helicopter, just casually. You know, a little casual moment. There we go. We're off. Oh! Where is the fire? Oh no! He left something on the stove! Vincent! <sighs> Buddy old pal, looks like he wasn't even making spaghetti! This is what happens when you don't make spaghetti, Vincent. Good thing you have 30 fire alarms in your house. Oh my gosh. Let's blame this one on Samantha and pretend that it wasn't us. Oh my god, I thought he was gonna walk away while it was still on fire for a second. <laughs> oh my gosh. The maid here? Yeah, okay. Maid, you got a lot of work to do. This poor maid shows up every day with this kind of mess. Oh my gosh. I'm just fast forward on through here. <laughs> this household, this is this is getting to an interesting point. <laughs> getting quite chaotic. Yes, Goopy, please, please, assistance. Assistance for Vinny. If assistance is required. Oh my goodness, this has been... Oh, we're, we're returning. This has been a wild ride. I, I feel like I've enjoyed this a bit more than Riley's story so far. Like, I'm enjoying the chaos a little bit more. Okie dokie. We have returned home. Taken a shower in his invincible makeup. I'm gonna move this somewhere else now. Here, we'll put it right next to the, the pool. For safety. <laughs> yes, the fact that I'm a a literal talking oh oh we have things happening. I'm a literal talking bonfire bear <laughs> is is a lot. Leaving your home with something cooking on the stove is something I've done. <laughs> yeah, maybe he also ran out of ADHD meds. Very relatable. Maybe she spent more time or effort on Vincent's story. Yeah, I wonder if they did that or if they tried to make like Riley's like entry level and then Vincent's is like a step up. Like it seems like maybe they tried to do something like that a little bit. Yeah. Apparently half of that advanced level was just the receiving gift action. Wait, what did he say? Dude, did you hear about Samantha and Johnny's honeymoon? No, nor do I care to, Greg. Greg's shady. Greg's up to something. Oh, so you didn't hear about Johnny's company going under and him flying right back here to find out what was going on? What? Yeah, it turns out the success of your satellite caused a lot of inventors to pull... What is this? To pull out of BitTech. They bombed overnight, dude. Hmm. I don't know. What's... Okay. So this is... A, so, okay. So Samantha's... Supposed company she's trying to marry into has bombed. Okay, so it was like karma's a bitch moment. That's true. The the gift being a, maybe that was the hint. Like I was saying when I got the torch as a gift, I'm like, what is that a foreshadowing of? Maybe that's it. Hmm. Ah. Yeah, I like how we zoom in on his butt there. I thought we were getting another pop-up for a minute. Oh, the phone's... Am I supposed to answer this as part of the storyline? I never know what's a scripted event and what's not, uh, just a regular annoying call. Hmm? Nope, it's just this random blonde chick that keeps calling us. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so I kind of got a date with Alexa tonight, so I gotta get going. Wish me luck, dude. I'm out. Okay, bye. Kyle. See you around. Kyle. Greg. The zoom in shots are the only thing I don't enjoy about this game. Is it like zooms you in like way too too close? You can't even see what's going on. Okay, is this a scripted event? Let's answer with our fancy cell phone instead. Yeah, goodbye, weirdo Greg. Yeah, I wonder what what did Greg and Alexa actually have in common? Oh, 
Vincent, it's Naomi. Could you meet me at the mall? There's a pogo stick here you just have to jump on. <laughs> back to the back to the Naomi's package comment. <laughs> um, okay, Naomi. I'm glad you called. Sure, I'll head on over to Arcadium Plaza. I'll just make my way to the Arcadium Plaza in that case. His makeup looks very fierce. <laughs> Um, so I did, I did, um, all I did was copy and paste my default folder for makeup into this game and it works just like the regular game. I was able to just plop it right in. And I also have like a Max's hair retexture moment going in too. Yeah, I think Naomi's hinting on something. A pogo sticks in this game would be fun. Okay, you can stop because we gotta go on an adventure. We gotta, we gotta click our fancy button. Yeah, Naomi, I, you know, I get that. Naomi has a friend. Sherman has a lover, you know. Naomi could be our supportive uh, ally friend, and Sherman can be our true love. I think that's what needs to happen. <laughs> oh, we have, okay. Meet Naomi at the mall. There we go. So the mall. Have we gone to the mall yet? What is the mall? Oh, the plaza. Yes, we've gone to the plaza before. He's doing trick shots in his speedo. <laughs> oh, this is a man with too much time on his hand and too much money. Okay, we're heading out. We got our fresh fresh coat of lipstick on. Good to go. And also, yeah, on the on the landline phone subject, um, yeah, I, you have, I, I have a landline phone. <laughs> I know a lot of people that still do. And yeah, it's not, it's not original makeup. It is, it is default replaced. Yeah, it's, he's excited to see. Um, he's excited to see Miss Naomi. Here she is. I know people with landlines. Yeah, the spam calls are annoying. I still get those on my cell phone anyway, though, so... I don't know. Good to see you again, Vincent! Oh my gosh. How come every time we meet, we crush again? It's kinda weird. I believe I have a few kisses for your lovely arm, Naomi. <laughs> okay, Vincent. We got some- he got, he got a fresh layer of lipstick on to give her some kisses. Who's this man trying to talk to us? We don't need to talk to you right now, sir. I'm sorry. Yes? Up arm, I'm guessing that's what I need to do. Yes. There we go. This man watching us intently. It's Jack Trimble again. He was the one at the uh, restaurant earlier. <laughs> Naomi slaying in the jerk. The jerk. <laughs> I don't even know my number. Only telemarketers do. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, we're getting a back rub. Oh, he's given a back rub. Oh, interesting. Oh, uh oh. Somehow I knew I wouldn't be able to do what? Somehow I wouldn't be able to able to. <laughs> okay, sounds like toward the end of this story. Oh my god, Jert Moore as the name of the baby. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> anyway, the, toward the end of this story, we've got a few. We've got a few typos. <laughs> Seems like maybe they were getting a little tired toward the end here. I wouldn't be able to, able to, go out tonight without seeing Samantha. There's going to be an argument tonight, one way or another, and it might, I might as well be the cause of it. Oh my gosh, bucko. How do you know that exactly? You could've just ignored her. Ir I'll irritate that pesky pest, Samantha. She's got it coming after messing up my house like that. I mean, I, yeah, I get that, I guess. <laughs> oh, he's going to automatically slap her. I need to argue, though. It says argue is part of what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so this is the Johnny Cullen guy. Oh my goodness. I heard you guys had a fairly rocky honeymoon, so I'll make you guys a deal. 
Don't, interf don't interfere with Naomi and me, and I'll return the favor. Oh, he hates her so much. Don't talk to my wife that way, Vinny boy. <laughs> oh, the zoom in on the cloud. <laughs> that was dramatic. That was a dramatic zoom. Yeah, Vinny boy. <laughs> Vinny boy kind of works for him. Those are fighting words. I'll poke Johnny and show him how I really feel about him and his wife. Okay, well, you're busy beating the crap out of his wife, so... You know. She kicked his butt. <laughs> Little Johnny boy likes getting his butt kicked. I mean, not Johnny boy, Vinny boy. <laughs> okay, we did a poke. This poor NPC is just in the way. This man's name is Chuck. Chuck, get out of here. Or not. I'm gonna listen to Chuck's joke. Yeah, she won the fight. <laughs> Johnny, show Vincent that he can't treat you like that. <laughs> okay, we have a fight happening. Be attacked. Oh god, there's a double fight happening! <laughs> oh my gosh. This is chaos. Chuck's egg egging us on. A man just disappeared into our fight cloud. <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't even see who won between the girlies. Oh, we won. Vincent won. Yeah, no, the NPC is just chilling. NPCs are just vibing. The chaos. Oh, oh, oh. Let that be a lesson, Samantha. Hayden. Oh, let that be a lesson, Samantha Hayden. When you mess with Vincent, you're messing with Naomi Hunt. Oh my. We got us a girly for life here. Oh, we got a kiss. <laughs> Kissed romantically. We really showed them the nerve of those guys. I think it's best if we call it a night. I'll tell you what, I'll come over tomorrow around 8 p.m. if that sounds good to you. Sounds great. I'll see you then. This was this was this was a bizarre little date though. <laughs> like we we like kissed her arm and then we got in a fight and they're like, "Well, that was great. See you tomorrow." I think I've seen all that I wanted to at Arcadian Plaza for now. It's best if I call it a night. I'll have to make my ex my next date with Naomi extra special to make up for tonight's drama. Oh my goodness. I do appreciate the chaos. I appreciate the chaos. <laughs> she she is really a ride or die girly right now. She seems to be. Definitely does. And I do I kind of like them as a couple. I actually I'm I'm I've the what do I want to say? Vincent has grown on me. <laughs> Very much so. Go. Yeah, what about the pogo stick? What could even have been a reference to a pogo stick on this lot? There's not even... I think she she lied. She's a liar. How can we be in love with a liar? Maybe she's going to show us her pogo stick later. Maybe tomorrow when she comes by at 8 p.m. Vincent and Naomi. <laughs> Rick, Riley and Mickett. <laughs> I like Mickett. <laughs> I almost called it, I almost read it as Ricket, <laughs> Ricket and Mickett. <laughs> he wants to propose to her after she backed him up on the first, on the fist fight, yeah. <laughs> that didn't go very well at all. Just like Greg would say, you win some, you lose some, dude. Why are we ta taking anything Greg says to heart, though? Like, I still don't 100% trust Greg. Either he's, he's, maybe Greg isn't necessarily, like, a bad guy, but he's been used by the bad people or something. Oh, yeah, the, another freaking delivery. What is this? Here's the refrigerator that Samantha Hayden ordered. You're gonna hand me a refrigerator in my, through my bathroom door. I'm sorry? He's like, dang, if only this plant was in here, I could handle this refrigerator by myself. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is the fridge gonna match everything? 
Oh, he wants to get engaged to Naomi. We'll lock that in. Oh, yeah, we also got to look at our guitar that she bought us. We need to put it in here. Um, I'm going to set it down and move this. Where can we move this? I don't think... Can they walk around that? I'm just going to put it... I'm just going to put it somewhere here. There we go. It's decorating the front porch. I want it in the main room here. Even though it's something Samantha gifted us, which makes it kind of yucky, it's a pretty neat little guitar. Oh, look at this fridge. I don't know if I like this fridge. I guess it's a little bit nicer looking. And this one, we can delete it. There we go. Put that, oops, put that there. There we go. Look at this nice little setup. But yes, Polly relationship with Naomi and Sherman would be quite fun. <laughs> okay, he's going to go take a break in the hot tub, apparently. Yeah, Vin maybe Vincent needs to get rid of Greg. I don't know. I don't know about Greg. I'll be surprised if nothing really comes of Greg. I feel like there's got to be something. Oh, that's right. The th whatever he was cooking was still on this freaking stove. Pancakes? Okay. <laughs> look at how... He looks like he's so anxious when I make him look down here while I'm reading. <laughs> like, he's afraid. He's like, I gotta get the pancakes. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> okay, that confrontation between Samantha, Johnny, and me really didn't go so well. But it's still good to know that Naomi can handle herself. She doesn't seem very shaken by this at all. And that's been helping me a lot. Okay. Look at this little shot. This is quite a shot we've got here. <laughs> okay. We're gonna get the pancakes. Maybe maybe Sherman could just be our little like roommate. Could be like our little live-in buddy old pal. You are not eating those. They're filthy. Aren't they dirty? Did they not? The thing was rotten. Yeah, they're rotten. You need to clean those up, friend. You cannot eat those. Actually, here, we haven't used your brand new stove yet. Or grill. Let's make some hamburgers. Yeah, those were the world's saddest pancakes by far. They were roommates. <laughs> Look at you're making something other than the meatballs with that burger. Very good. Yeah, Sherman seems like he's actually got his crap together. Greg is a whole other situation. I don't know how to feel about Greg. That was a good burger. I'm gonna waste them all. Let them go all to, all bad over the night while I go to sleep. Great times. Pancakes are good. <laughs> Pancakes are always good. Sherman, oh yeah, Sherman can be the live-in butler. Yeah, day-old pancakes, probably not so good. Probably not so good. That's true, he would be like making robots. Yeah, there's not a leftovers option. Of course, now it's gone, but I tried it earlier and it doesn't seem to be a leftovers option. Oh, he woke up. You have to work. He does have to work. She's supposed to, she said 8 p.m. When she's coming by. So he's probably going to have to go run off to work. We'll just fast forward through his little day. And have her show up. Here we go. There we go. Off in our little helicopter. I'll leave the house on its own. Oh, we got our, got our mans here to clean things up. Mr. Goopy. Mr. Goops. Oh my gosh, our phone's ringing. Oh, did leftovers come with seasons? That's interesting. That's true, there's not seasons in this game. It's very basic in that way. Oh, Naomi mentioned she'd be here at 6 p.m. Oh, I thought it was 8 p.m. I'd like to do something special for her. I know I'll play the guitar. I know I'll play the guitar for her. I better practice and improve my playing skills. I don't want her running for the woods. <laughs> I should also shower before she arrives. <laughs> that might be a good idea, bud. <laughs> oh, did they come with free time? Interesting. I mean, you're not actually dirty, so like, why? I guess we can take a shower. 
get ready for Naomi. Gain sufficient guitar skills and make sure you have a respectable degree of hygiene. Interesting. We have to make sure our creativity is at a good point. It doesn't say how high we need it to be, though. I don't know. I mean, a respectable level of guitar skill, we're almost maxed out. What do you consider respectable? I wonder if this guitar makes different sounds than the other one. Oh, there we go. Uh, my new rendition of Won't You Be My Toaster of Love is sure to knock her off her feet. That's the most exercise I've had all week. I hope my odor is heavenly. What? I hope my odor is as heavenly as my playing. <laughs> Oh my god. Much better. I'm totally ready for Naomi. She should be here soon. Okay. I guess I was supposed to play guitar and then take a shower, but it worked out either way. <laughs> Toaster of love. Here's the girly. She can hear our rock and roll through the door. Actually, she probably can see us too. Yeah, we gotta... We got, a, we got a nice window door. She can, we can see people can see all of our richness, so the peasants can know what they're missing out on. They gotta look into our house. There we go. <laughs> the pheromones. Oh, Vincent, I missed you so much. What's the plan for tonight? Hey, that new show for the love of simoleons is on. Can we watch it together? Sure. You wanna watch TV? I just got a fancy new guitar from my ex. Can I play it for you instead of this dumb TV show? Can you sit down and join? There we go. An enjoyable, an enjoyable time here. Here we'll go. <laughs> this is exciting. Yeah, Simflix and chill. Why don't you sit next to me? I don't- I won't bite. Well, I was sitting next to you, and apparently we stood up for some reason. Oh, okay, buddy. You need to come sit over here. Your order is as heavenly as your playing sounds more like an insult than a compliment. <laughs> uh, am I supposed to cuddle? Watch TV. Or does... Oh, wait. Oh, am I, were we not technically watching together? <laughs> Buddy, I need you to sit down next to her and join. Is that what I need to do? What am I doing wrong? Click on the TV and select join. Oh, the show is about an hour long. I cannot get this man to keep his attention span for an hour. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, that's Sherman's spot. Sherman's supposed to be here with us. Oh, there we go. That was an awesome episode, wasn't it? I didn't think her ex-boyfriend would actually kidnap her aunt. Oh, that was a reference and a half. <laughs> we know a thing or two about kidnapping aunts. <laughs> Interesting. I like that little moment, a little reference. Hey, do you have a telescope? I'd love to see that satellite you've been talking so much about. Yeah, this is the gaming seat for the men. <laughs> You're not allowed to sit here, Riley. Not Riley, Naomi. <laughs> I call her Riley. She's got the brown hair. Okay, so I'm supposed to, am I supposed to stargaze or invite her? I'll go over to my telescope and look for my satellite so I can show it to Naomi. Yeah. You gonna join me? She gonna follow? Seems like sometimes they auto follow you, but then sometimes they don't. There we go. Okay, yeah, they're taking turns. That's cool. Oh, Vincent, it's so beautiful. Wow, it's so bright. <laughs> okay. Would they really be able to find a singular like satellite in the sky somewhere? I mean, they might probably would. Actually, this is a cute date. Yeah, it's true. Are we... what are we doing? Getting into the hot tub? I forgot! 
Oh, I almost forgot. I was practicing my guitar just for her. I hope she likes it. Okay. Supposed to play some guitar. Should I perform? Let's, let's perform some country. I bet she's a country girl. Country girl got some country in her. Can I, can I call to, like, watch? Ask to join, maybe? I can get her to watch. Country girl, I love you. <laughs> she is a country girl, confirmed. Naomi Country Girl. Her last name is Hunt. Like hunting and fishing. Oh, Vincent, I never knew you could play so well. I love this song. <laughs> Jorts are country girl. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Look at that move. That was a line dancing move. Girls from like Texas or something. <laughs> I definitely know the country girl, country girl vine. <laughs> or country boy vine. Should have known from the jerk. <laughs> Should have known from the jerk. <laughs> It's funny. There's a little wholesome moment they're having here. I'm gonna fast forward just a little bit. Let them have their moment. But in a more convenient time for me. Oh my gosh, look at them go. It's just going. They're gonna pass out. How fast can they go? How long can they go? It just says, please wait. He's gonna get so tired. <laughs> look at them go. <laughs> they're going so fast. <laughs> oh, there we go. That was great. Come here, you. Now we're both exhausted and tired. We're gonna have to have an espresso. Okay, we, we get it. We have a kiss happening. They danced until, yeah, they did. It's, it's already six now. Gosh. Okay, now what? We have an espresso. Naomi is everything I've ever wanted. I wonder what she'd say if I asked her to move in with me. Oh my gosh. Okay, you're tired. Propose move in. Let's see. I bet she might say yes. I think that's a yes. Na oh my gosh. Everybody calling Naomi poor. She just brought 100k to the household. Are you kidding me? Vincent, I'd love to move in with you. I'm so happy I finally met such a great guy. Naomi, you were the only reason I stayed sane these last couple weeks. We've heard somebody else say that before. <laughs> it didn't end well. <laughs> Vincent, I'm glad it was able to make a difference in your life. You really have. It's just that ever since I got back from launching that satellite, my luck has been terrible until you came into my life. People make their own luck, Vincent. Since it's so nice out tonight, why don't we go sit together on the lawn and watch stars together? Look at this auto cue of like go here's what's going on what are we doing oh, everything is so perfect right now and this is too perfect this is way too perfect something bad's about to happen a wonderful girl and a clear bright night romance is in the air burning bright and hot it'll be great to sit on the lawn together <laughs> and stargaze okay do I just click? Um, or do I? How do I? What do I do? Naomi's now. Click on an icon. Click on her icon and, let, and click on the ground and select Stargaze. And then repeat for Vincent. Make sure they are near one another. Interesting. So I just have to like automatically. I have a bad feeling about what's going to happen. I think I know what's. Oh God. Wait. Okay. Watch. Because we have to do clouds right now because it's coming daytime yeah that's the feeling I got I mean the satellite his satellite <laughs> that's what I'm thinking I don't want to spoil I don't want any spoilies obviously okay it's daytime okay guys I don't know are we gonna have to wait a whole day for this okay can I click for him wait 
Oh my god, the whistling scared me. Can I can I have him like right next to her? There we go. Yes, maybe no. Oh. Do not. No. Ask to join cloud watching? Okay. <laughs> That's true, they have matching little red swimsuits. Okay, he's gonna join? No. Oh, she's the one whistling. I wasn't even realizing that. What is going on? <laughs> We're supposed to magically get them next to each other? Sir? Oh my gosh, this man is a mess. Is this even gonna work? Because we have to do great stargazing. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a mess. I have a feeling I'm not even going to be able to do this properly. There we go, they're actually sitting together? But I don't think it's going to count because it's not stargazing and his needs are so bad. I'm going to- we're going to have to just let them do their thing throughout the day, I think. Yeah, I think I have to wait till nighttime. Oh my gosh, he's going to have to go to work in an hour. He's a mess. What's Riley's situation? Not Riley, oh my god, Naomi's situation. He wants to get married to him and engaged. She's kind of shy. Sort of, not, not super neat, but I guess not super sloppy. She's pretty serious, but nice. She's active. Does she have a thing? No, she doesn't have a bio. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he's too tired. Maybe he could call in sick, that's true. Or just skip. He could probably just skip. Oh, is she a Pisces? I didn't even see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is he? Oh, he's a Gemini. Interesting. Does he have a bio? Oh, yeah. I think it's kind of just the same thing as his. Vincent is the founder and owner of JCN Corporation and is constantly working. Okay, yeah. Here's his... I'm going to have him just ignore the, the helicopter in his front yard. <laughs> We're going to ignore the helicopter. Oh my gosh, wait, that was just Samantha that came wandering by. Oh, she left. Oh, she's still looking at the stars. She needs to stop. I'm just gonna let her do her thing. Oh, she's, it's, I think that's Chuck, who was at the park, and she's talking to him about fighting. Oh my gosh. Are you, like, what is your problem, broski? I don't know what to do with you. Have some cereal, I guess? You're just like a mess. <laughs> Jert boogie. It's got to be Jert boogie. Oh my gosh, look at this chaos. Holy crap, Ola, dude. You're such a mess. I'm just gonna just zoom through taking care of his freaking needs. Oh, are they still technically in a group? Yeah, that, I guess that would make sense. <laughs> Naomi checked her email. Okay. Yeah, he's still doing the go here stuff. That's annoying, because it's kind of part of the little... It's like, then why did they have to listen to the guitar for so freaking long? Or did was I supposed to just cancel the interaction or something? Okay, well, it's nighttime. He is hungry. But, oh my gosh, I'm in a tree. Let's see, so I- so all it tells me is that I'm supposed to- Naomi is now part of Vincent's house. Click on her icon, click on the ground, and select Stargaze. Then repeat this for Vincent. Make sure they are near one another, so it's not an actual join or anything. Yeah, food later stars now. Is the- oh, <laughs> the Riley Fertilitator pad dot energy 10? I have no clue what that one is. Oh, we were supposed to cancel the interaction. You can use it for Vinny to get the energy up faster if you want. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I could probably try that at some point, too. At least his energy's okay for right now. Oh, wait, it told me I want, I'm supposed to do her first. And then him. I'm gonna have her come out and sit so I can make sure to click in the right spot, I guess. Yeah, he's just, like, having a fit. She's going. 
buddy. I might have to get his... Oh my god, her whistling is gonna drive me nuts too, dude. Okay, let's see if we can make this happen. He's facing the wrong way. Is that an issue? Oh my gosh, there we go. Uh, it's gonna happen. I know exactly what's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> I can hear it. <laughs> Vincent, nothing can spoil this night. What's that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Welcome, Plasp. Plat, 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 asp. Platinum aspiration. <laughs> I'm laughing. I can't speak. <laughs> you've come in at a very good time. Or maybe you've been here and you're just jumping into chat. This is. Oh my, oh my god. I accidentally hit fast forward. That happened so fast. Oh no. <laughs> okay. This is. Oh, not this. Not this, not this! <laughs> the screen! Okay, Tedman, yeah, no, you're fine. I'm a, I'm a humongous lurker in streams. I don't ever talk. Yeah, poor Vince. I, I feel bad for Vincent now. Like, I actually, this is a likable character, a likable couple now. This is terrible, and with my own satellite. That's the kicker, though. It's his own freaking satellite. That's so funny. Oh, Naomi! If I plead my case with the Grim Reaper, maybe he will return her to me. Oh my gosh. Plead for a loved one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, did, did he let Samantha near the satellite? What if, what if Sherman was in on this? <gasps> what if it was Sherman all along? Oh, he's, he's trying, he's pleading. He's starving. Is he gonna actually? Your request intrigues me, mortal. I will give you what you ask, but on one condition. I will return Naomi to you, but you will forfeit, forfeit all your earthly belongings. You must value her more than your own worth. So do we have a deal? Oh my goodness, of course we do. Very well, mortal. May the two of you in happy find happiness in poverty. Farewell. Oh my gosh, she's returned to us. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my gosh. She has returned. <laughs> Keep the money. Date Sherman. That's a good point. Well, I felt bad because Naomi's real. Seems like a nice lady. Oh, she's really into us. Also, what happened to us getting rid of all of our earthly belongings? We're we still a multi-millionaire with a house. I thought, like, we were going to get kicked out on the street or something. Yeah, sell the satellite. Maybe we need to keep it there for a little memory. Maybe we need to, like, display it on our table in here or something <laughs> as a memory. I have a uh, t-shirt with the Grim Reaper eating ramen noodles. That's interesting. Oh, yeah, that's true. I wonder if the choice will change the ending. I didn't really even think about it. I just wanted... I keep almost calling her Riley. I wanted Naomi back because I felt bad. <laughs> he gives everything up to get her back, and then it turns out that she never liked his spaghetti. Oh my god. Well, I had to give up my fortune, home, and job. But Naomi is alive, and that's what matters to me. You know, I always thought somehow I would end up broken homeless. But I thought it would have more to do with an industrial accident than the woman I love. But as long as she can spot me a... A burger? I think I'll be okay. What happens though? Like, nothing's happened as far as like, your earthly belongings. Like, we still got the whole place. Remember when you died, babe? <laughs> Although this is the end of Vincent's story, it's the beginning of a long, beautiful relationship. You will now be sent to Neighborhood View, where you can find Vincent and Naomi waiting for you in the family bin. Oh, because I was going to say, what, are we just going to leave it here and he's not going to lose anything? He is. He's going to lose all his money and he's going to get kicked out of his house. Interesting. We're going to get teleported out to the, to the main place here. Let's see. I'm going to hit OK. Oh, he said, he said you, you're fucking done. Bye. <laughs> Bitch, you're done. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> no, no goodbyes. <laughs> oh, yeah, put the French. I didn't even get a chance. <laughs> Welcome to Bitville. If I had known that it happened before, I probably, like, would have before that pop-up came up. I probably could have. I wasn't even thinking. Yeah, surely Sherman will take him in. 
Maybe, oh my gosh, why can't I? Whoa, I can't go over there. The camera's stuck right here. That's weird. Can I spin? Oh wait, was that? Whoa, okay. Oh, that's his house. He lived up on the hill. And then this is the rest of the house. Oh yeah, there's Boggle and... Oh, this is... This is, um... Oh, Greg. And we got... We got a little, little Sherman living here. Blaze. Oh, this is the chick that, that broke up our... Uh, that broke up our, our first date. GameFAQ says, If you choose to keep Vincent's fortune and let Naomi rest in peace, you will unlock the Naomi statue and the story rewards. If you choose to resurrect Naomi, but lose all of Vincent's money and house, you will not unlock the statue. Interesting. I wonder what the pop-ups would say. Yeah, we're gonna read- we're gonna check out the Sherman and, um, and- and Greg. I also am curious about this chick, because I see Pyromania? Kendra Blaze is a firefighter. A hot female firefighter. A dangerous female firefighter. A psych evaluation failed to detect that her love for, of fires bordered on pyromania. <laughs> I like this chick. <laughs> she seems fun. Yeah, I, I figured out rotate the camera. It was weird. Oh gosh, that was really fast. Sorry. It was weird that it was like had me stuck here though. I mean, I kind of like the little fixed angle. These are some cool looking houses though. Like this one looks neat. I feel like this could be a fun little place to play in. Oh, this is this chick. The model of elegance of Bitville. The men just don't stand a chance. Alexa is fueled by an unlimited supply of coffee and a clear sense of what she wants. In her ongoing pursuit of lost chival chivalry, oh my gosh, I can't say that word, chivalry, Alexa can't help but turn the heads of modern moguls in Bitville. Interesting. Oh, they took his cushy job too. No more helicopter rides. Yes, I did notice that as well. Her name is Blaze. <laughs> an AI, she is an AI robot in disguise. Who else is this? Ayers? Oh, this is that other chick, Sasha. The perfect lair for Sasha to set her traps and live comfortably off the gullible and wealthy male. <laughs> I really like the writing of these characters so far. Sasha's rather impressive manipulation of the male gender dates back to the tender age of eight when she convinced her father to buy her an expensive pony despite the fact that they lived in an apartment. Will her scheming ever get her what she wants? There was a time when she dreamed of becoming a mother and raising a family. There's a lot of detail in these little households. Oh, this is Samantha. Oh my gosh, Samantha? Okay, so this is like a little bit forward. It says Jamantha, Jamantha, <laughs> not Jamantha. Samantha and Jonathan have already split up and Samantha is living back in her own home again. She may not have a man anymore, but that doesn't mean she can't find a new one. Until she does, Samantha is going to have a hard time. No more shopping sprees, doing her own housework, and even worse, she may have to get a real job. What's a single single girl to do? Uh, and then a blaze. We click on her. Now we look at these boys. I'm probably gonna jump into Sherman's house. Maybe maybe um, Greg's house. I can never remember Greg's freaking name. Yeah, these bios are very nice. <laughs> J Jamantha. Like these are just little side characters, but they've got little fully fleshed out stories. Yeah, I know. Too bad for her. Not. Can you scooch this like to be like. On the screen, my little chat was over it. There we go. Okay. A geek's geek in high-tech town. Sherman loves Bitville. He knows the fastest route from any point to another, and he has a high score on both pinball machines, on both pinball machines at Bollywood Star Lanes. <laughs> okay, he's a pinball wizard. Chomsky. The best friend of Bitville. Everybody loves Greg. And everybody smells Greg. <laughs> Not everybody smells Greg. <laughs> the guy hasn't got his hygiene together. But what's to be expected from the lowest paid male in Bitville? That's so mean. <laughs> he doesn't work about... He doesn't worry about his status because he keeps sight of the important things. Fun and friendship. It's been a while since Greg's last date. 
in a big heart make up for a big mess <laughs> stinky greg <laughs> that greg is stinky oh my gosh okay i want to see what how, how this man lives and then we also got, i gotta see how greg lives too greg needs a rich girl he needs that other chick although him and alexa were a thing at one point yeah, he seems to have been technically best friends. Also, it seems that nothing came of his suspicious behavior. S of Greg's suspicious. Okay, so we've got like a little cabin little house. This is kind of a fun little cabin. Okay. What is this wallpaper? It looks damaged. This, this color scheme is very muted. Very interesting, like, muted tones. Okay. We've got, wow, look at this fancy bed, dude. Look, some of the furniture in this game is really good. This is a nice bed. Although I don't like the default plain sheets. Also, this is that furniture set that we saw before. Yeah, Greg, Greg bagged Alexa from the party. And then I, he said he was going to go out because he, when, when, um... Names. <laughs> Terrible with names. Vincent threw a party. He invited Alexa for Greg. And then apparently they hit it off, kind of. And they were, yeah, Sherman's a cabin guy. Sherman's apparently a cabin guy. And this seems very modest. He likes pink. He's got some pink going on. He like, look at this pink toilet. Sherman's got a little pink toilet. Sherman's, Sherman's a little bit... I think Sherman might be a little bit fruity. This is a little bit of a fruity house for Sherman. I appreciate it. What is his, his wants? He wants to see a ghost. Play with Vincent. His first want is to play with Vincent. <laughs> uh, he doesn't have anything in his inventory. He's a Virgo. He has no bio. He's extremely neat. Very shy. Kinda active, serious, not super nice, or grouchy. Um, yeah, looks like his chemistry, <laughs> he likes swimwear and underwear, does not like formal wear. There's exclusive furniture for the stories I figured they would use. Yeah, you'd be surprised, but it seems like there's a ton of exclusive furniture. Although I don't, haven't really seen any exclusive, like, creative sim items. Like, I haven't seen any special outfits or anything. But they seem to have gone all out on the furniture. Like, this is very detailed special furniture. It's kind of interesting how they went down that road. But then they left out so much st other stuff. Oh, the green wallpaper in the bedroom. Oh, down here. Oh, yeah, the stripes. I see. Yeah, those are nice. I like, the, I like all the wallpapers so far. So, yeah. I don't know if there's anything else we want to look at with Mr. Sherman. I can check out... We can check out, um... Greg's house real quick. I'm curious if they've got him set up like all filthy and everything. Yeah, Sherman did enjoy it when uh, Vincent flirted with him, so that was fun. That's true. We could move, we could move them into there. We will know that. Um, I don't know why I saved. We didn't do anything. We'll know forever and ever that uh, Sherman. I mean, not Sherman. Vinny, Naomi and Vinny are living with Sherman. <laughs> Here, well, where are they? Who's who else is here? Calamari! Dom Calamari's got no home! We got- this fancy man's got no home. And Johnny Cullen's got no home. He doesn't deserve no home. Here, we'll drop him in. Oh! There's not a comp- <gasps> That's not possible! This game does not allow you to combine households. It's a crime. That reminds me of when my brother moved out of his entire- oh, moved out his entire bathroom was pink and fluffy. He hadn't come out of the closet yet, and we kind of knew. It would have been confirmed with that bathroom. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, well, I guess they can't move in yet. That's all right. We're not going to actually play them. I got to just see if they- I would love it if they mess set up this guy's house like it's all dirty and stuff. Yeah, I wonder, can you actually just pop them right back? How I didn't see how much money they had. Oh, this man. <laughs> look, at that, look at how we have found this man. <laughs> okay, buddy. What do we got going on here? 
I mean, this is a pretty fancy house for the quote unquote lowest paid man in Bitville. What is with the unpainted half walls? Why do we, who did that? Why? It's a fancy little house. It's not as dirty as I was hoping. I like this little upstairs. We got some style, we got some pizzazz. Apparently, Calamari reminds Pasco curious of his mother from PSP lore. Interesting. I like this little bedroom moment. We got the zigzag with our little clock. Interesting. Oh, interesting. It's an Italian last name. Huh. I mean, I like I like some of the style choices. I mean, it's a little bit eclectic. You know, we've got like this and then we've got this. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit mix and match. Not perfect. But I don't think it's the worst place ever. He's got he's got a fancy grill. I don't know. He's pretty well set. What is his like? He's a he's a Libra. I'm guessing he doesn't have a bio. He's he's extremely sloppy. He has no points in sloppy. He's quite lazy. He's pretty outgoing and playful and nice, though. Yeah, I don't know why they always... I mean, they. I don't think they always make the, the fat characters chubby or slobs, but I mean, obviously, these were also made in the early 2000s. So... <laughs> yeah, does he have a job? No, he doesn't. I forgot to check if Sherman has a job. That's kind of interesting. I assume he probably is in, like, the business career. Yeah. I'm gonna go back out to the... Uh, yeah, or, there we go. That was kind of fun. Check out those guys. I like their little bios. That's a really nice thing. It's I, thing is, is like I wouldn't want to rotationally play in this game because there's because so, there's so much like limited compared to the main game. But I know that there's people that have made conversions into, you know, the regular game. Yeah, he has a nice house for being supposedly the lowest paid sim. How much money do these guys have? They only have thir they have, they have a small loan of thirty five thousand. What is the... I guess... I was looking at the bio. I think it's the same as when we started. It's nothing new in the bio. I guess? Vincent's uncle got him a kite when he was six? I don't know. I don't really want to go through and read it right now. I don't know what to... We could... How about for closure? We'll just move him in. I want to see what this house looks like real quick. Just for just for closure, we can say we, we moved him into a house. <laughs> They may or may not be uninstalling this game after we've finished the story, so we, we'll pretend they're living there forever. You know, 35k isn't really that bad at all. Oh my gosh, look at this house. <laughs> not inside the other house. They have each other. They have each other. Okay. I like this house. I like, oh my gosh, look at this wallpaper. Now that's fun. That's a good time. <laughs> Very nice. Look at that one. We got the big stripes. I do like the big stripes. That could be good. That could be useful. I do like this little, like, overhang moment. That's kind of fun. It was kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, I like the wallpaper and everything. Uh, so much more furniture. Maybe they didn't have any limitations for the running engine since it's more of a storyline. Yeah, maybe. I just wish they had, like, more unique hairs and clothes and stuff. I feel like it's all just, like, super base game and boring. Yeah, the house across the street, too. Yeah, there's quite a few nice... I like the I like the shapes of all the houses in this hood. I guess we'll, we'll save them here. At least they didn't make us, like, get them married and make them have a baby or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I didn't have to go through that. I guess what I'm gonna go back out to the hood again. I think we're gonna we're gonna wrap up for the night. I'm so I'm happy we actually went ahead and finished the story. We'll look at we'll look over Bitville while we're wrapping up here. <laughs> that we have been going for a little over four hours, which is pretty good time I'd say. Pretty good amount of time for my little bonfire bear self. And yes, that was a perfect little hot tub patio. Yeah, starting a completely empty house can be a little intimidating. 
Yeah, we all need a rest after that mess of four, four hours of chaos. Yeah, I like the double the double story windows. They are pretty cool. Yeah, so I guess we're gonna probably go to go to um, be done. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I'm tired. I'm starting to get a little bit of a sore voice, surprisingly. Um, oh, thank you very much for the follow, Mix. I think I'm saying that right. Mix Sims. Thank you very much for a little last minute follow, and thank you everybody else for all the follows. I really appreciate it. I'm getting very close to getting affiliate soon. And yes, I'll post this on on YouTube. I probably by um, early, well, maybe earlier or midway through this coming week. Um, yeah, I have, I think I got my thing working where I can post this. Let's see. I'm going to type YouTube. There you go. Got my little YouTube link going there. Um, I am going to, I have a strange view video queued up and, and ready to go for tomorrow at noon. So I got that going on. We're going to be playing um, Dirk and Mary Sue. So that'll be fun. And uh, thank you, uh, Mix Sims. Uh, you have a very good night too. And everybody else who came by, it was very fun. <laughs> I really enjoyed this. I'm going to decide what I want. I'm going to look at um, what game came next after this as far as other it was pets or castaways and kind of make a decision. I guess I'll give little Olive a hug and pets. She's sleeping on the bed and, and kind of just acting like I, I'm i not talking. <laughs> she just, she's just ignoring me. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, I guess I'm going to go. Once again, thank you all so much. This is really fun. I'm glad that it's been working out so well. And everything, yeah. All right, I'm going to go. Thank you very much. I'm going to make a little ending screen or something, like my little BRB screen. So. Okay, <laughs> have a good night. <laughs> gnome, gnome bye. I need a little gnome goodbye. I'll make like a little emote where it's like the back of the gnome, like leaving. <laughs> gnome bye.